Hello and welcome to Loughborough Stadium where in a few moments Loughborough University first team will be taking on Liverpool under 18s. So some very exciting football coming up. And of course with very exciting football we bring you very exciting commentators. So joining us throughout the next 90 minutes or so will be Max and Tom. Hello, Matt and Tom. Matt, that's got it right now. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling about the game ahead? Oh, very excited, very excited indeed. Very rare to see players of this quality on this pitch, so I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Uh, last year we obviously had uh, Rashford. Uh, who yeah, are we going to have this ago, year? That was, yeah. Yeah. No, sorry, three years ago, yeah. Yeah, he'd have been 16 at the time, so yeah, obviously he's gone and kicked on to better, bigger and better things. Hopefully we'll see the same here. Hopefully we'll see some of these players in the Premier League in the future. That's uh, the plan for them, I'm sure. <laughs> and we'll be looking out, well, maybe from Loughborough as well. You never know, we currently have a non-league player, Dapo, who plays for Solihull Moors at the minute. Uh, he's, uh, he's back from Toronto FC from last season, so hopefully he can kick on. We'll find out. That'll be really exciting. So what are we, what are we looking forward to most about the next 90 minutes? I think there's two, two teams that, that want to play football. I think are quite renowned for the philosophy of keeping the ball in the floor. a lot of talent in the play as well, so really looking, uh, yeah, just a good football. Football in game of football, if you like. Um, in particular, Liverpool uh, have got a lad in midfield called Liam Coyle. Be looking out for him. He's apparently been training with Steven Gerrard the last few weeks. So if he's anything of the quality of Gerrard, then um, they've got quite a prospect on their hands. And of course, Steven Gerrard, now the uh, or the future coach of the under-18 squad. So very exciting for their future. Yeah, of course. I mean, learning from a player of that quality, it could only be good things. So what, what do you think Steven Gerrard will be looking for from their players? What will we be looking for today? It's not actually coming. <laughs> Is he not? He's not coming, unfortunately. Spoiler. So he, he might struggle to see stuff tonight. <laughs> Maybe if he tunes into the stream. Uh, I think he will be tuning in tonight, to of course. Yeah, Our coverage will be good enough. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks very much and best of luck um, for the commentating. I'm sure you'll thanks be very uh, much. Thank you very, very much. Good. All the best. Um, earlier, the players were warming up and uh, we managed to capture some of that. So take a look at what they were up to earlier. So, of course, that was uh, very exciting, seeing the players warm up and get ready for the game. It's going to be a huge event. Um, the stands are filling, as you can probably see behind me. I found a football. Not that I'm very good at kicking it. But hopefully, um, it's going to be a really, really good game. They're going to be better at football than I am. And, of course, the commentators should be better at talking about football than I am. So it should be a very, very exciting game. To have Liverpool here is amazing. And, of course, to have Steven Gerrard is the oncoming under-18s coach. Although he's not here, which is a shame. I mean, you'd think, you know, with, uh, with him taking over soon, he would have come, oh, another football, another football. It's all right, they're flying in from all sides now. Their players have just started to walk off. Um, I don't know if you can see them behind me, but they're wearing their Team Talk tots, which is a campaign that we will touch on slightly later. Something really interesting, something I'm very interested in as well. The Liverpool players have stayed out a bit longer to warm up. I don't know what that says about our Loughborough team. Are they, uh, are they a bit too chilled about it? Maybe they're a bit overconfident. Um, we're going to have a chat to our commentators now that are in place. Guys, can you hear me up there? We yeah. can. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. How's your view of the pitch? It's got a nice TV screen right in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, it's good. <laughs> so over the next 90 minutes, obviously, you guys are going to be talking through. What, what, what specifically are Loughborough going to be hoping to do? Nullify the threat of Liverpool. I think there's some really talented players within the Liverpool squad that have scored a lot of goals, in particular striker McCauley, who's got 16 this season. So I think if they can nullify the threats and and almost hit Liverpool on the counter, that's a, almost the best the best way of, um, of yeah of getting themselves in inside this game and certainly not conceding inside the first 10 minutes. Keep that really tight and and then put yourself in a position where you can take the game to Liverpool. So Matt, can you explain the difference between sort of having a, a Liverpool under-18 side and our Loughborough first side? What's the difference in quality? Oh, wow. um, well, these boys obviously trained together for years. 
Um, yeah, it was our, our love for boys. Obviously, they come and go. They get a fresh set of freshers every year. Uh, players leaving every year. Um, yeah, I think that's a big difference, really. The boys will be very familiar with each other. Yeah, so obviously the, the Liverpool players have come from a youth academy. Well, some of our Loughborough boys have grown up in a youth academy and then oh, come to come to the university. I'd say most of our players have come from a youth academy of some sort, yes. So what, what what's different between a youth academy and obviously coming and playing here at Loughborough? I'm sure you, I'm sure you have a vast array of experience in that. <laughs> Unfortunately not. I can't really comment on that, I'm afraid. I think I think one of the differences when when you're in a youth academy is you're you're in and around that uh, that professional setup from a very young age. Um, and if you've not been around that and then you uh, you miss out on it when you come to university, although I'm sure, as Matt says, there's a lot of um, players that will have played at youth youth level for for football league clubs. Um, so I think there's obviously a stark difference between <laughs> between the student life um, currently and the life that probably a Liverpool under 18 player that will be living at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously down here is a big event for Loughborough University to have Liverpool under 18 side here. We're bringing in the crowds. I think it, there are a lot of tickets sold, but will Liverpool see this as a big game? I think they, they should do really, yeah, given that they've just had uh, Steven Gerrard appointed as their gaffer. They, um, yeah, they'll all be... They, They'll be looking yeah. to impress. Yeah, of course, of course. You know what, as well, in, in terms of crowd, uh, the Liverpool training ground doesn't hold much more than a 1,000 spectators. So in terms of a crowd, this is as big as they probably will play in front of all season. So um, if, if you can't get up for it in front of in front of these sort of fans then I mean this then, is yeah. this is the Champions League isn't it really when this, it if you can't get up football. for it in this yeah. sort of occasion the Hollywell pitch then you're in the wrong business <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm jealous of you guys up there because you guys have got a great view um, I am pitch side so I'm obviously slightly better at the moment but looking at the gym over there do you reckon there's some cheeky people who have just gone for a run to watch the game <laughs> why wouldn't you five pounds to get in or <laughs> two, <laughs> two, a 200 quid gym membership just to watch it there's going to be some <laughs> long runs there, a few 90-minute <laughs> runs just to watch the entire game, oh, I think. I'm sure there'll be a few walkers as well. <laughs> so the, the Liverpool players are still warming up. Our Loughborough players have gone in. So just finally, what will they be working to, to look at when they warm up? What are they getting ready for? The players out there now? Yep. Yeah. They're, they're, they're on the bench. Yeah, it needs to be the subs. <laughs> <laughs> they're just keeping they'll themselves sticking over. They'll be looking to impress on the bench. It's a good job you guys are commentating, isn't it? <laughs> well, anyway, thank you very much for chatting to us. Um, I'll, I'm going to leave you guys to to talk us through what's coming up, go through some of the some of the names of the players, some people who we may see in the Premier League in the future. Um, that's all for me for a bit, so over to you guys. Uh, thank you very thank much. You very much. And we're what, 10 minutes away from kickoff? Yep. Quite like that, yeah, quite a that, yeah. Let's get a clock out. We're six minutes away from kickoff, so do stay with us um, throughout this match. It should be a great evening. The last fixture that Liverpool took part in, to, to put it into context the, the difference in, in these two sides, the last game that Liverpool took part in was against FA Youth Cup champions Chelsea, um, in which they lost a narrow one one nil match at the Kirby training ground uh, uh, in Liverpool so it kind of shows you the goal of the FA Youth Cup is, is the pinnacle of Youth Cup football which Chelsea have gone on to win to win against Manchester City so Liverpool to lose out one nil it shows the quality of the team doesn't it Matt? Oh certainly definitely Part of his job and responsibility to produce players. Hello, Ed. Hello. First team, obviously, but we've got to produce well-rounded good people. This was a <laughs> How exciting. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we welcome them warmly to. Loughborough University and to Loughborough University Stadium and the Loughborough Students Football. Where <laughs>so, my name is Luke Thompson, I'm the Sport Executive Officer at Loughborough Students' Union. Coming to the end of my two years at Loughborough um, and we've done some, some really impressive things so I'm really happy about that. Obviously it's always a pleasure to work with some amazing students, the AU Exec team that we've had around me this year has been brilliant and obviously our 55 clubs who have done so much good stuff this year, uh, yeah, Loughborough's still sticking it out the top. So coming up we've obviously got our fixture against Liverpool under 18s, our Loughborough students first team going to take them on uh, at Hollywell Stadium, it's going to be an amazing, amazing game. Um, I remember a few years ago Marcus Rashford was here for Manchester under 18s, now he's off, off scoring goals for England so might be a few real superstars of the future on show, so that's going to be great. Um, other really exciting thing for us about that event is we're going to be launching our new mental health in sport campaign called Team Talk. So uh, that's going to be a really nice one to get out there. 
So Team Talk, I guess, has got a couple of aims. The first is to highlight mental health and perhaps the stigma around it and try and make sure that every Loughborough athlete is aware that everyone has a mental health and feels supported around theirs. Um, I think the second thing, as the name perhaps suggests, is trying to encourage people uh, to talk about their mental health in a sporting environment, be that with other teammates or be that with their coaches, um, just anybody really that, that can be there to support. So over Easter there's still been lots of different sport going on, probably the biggest one or the most successful one so far, our cricket team have been putting in some unbelievable performances uh, early season, they're doing really really well, led by Bobby Gamble who sits on the Sports Senate um, representing the performance um, structure, so they've been doing brilliantly, so absolutely go and get down and watch some of their fixtures in the, in the coming weeks. There's the Loughborough Lightning stuff, so our netball team currently 11 wins from 11 games this season, so there's a few big fixtures for them coming up. Um, and our Women's Cricket Super League stuff is going to get going in the summer as well, so that's definitely one to watch out for. Absolutely can't wait for AU Ball. It's always one of the highlights of the year. Got 900 people over in Leicester this time round. There's some really cool stuff. I think we've got um, some really exciting performance coming in. And uh, yeah, just great to be able to celebrate uh, a fantastic year with us there. Time got away from us slightly there and the players have come onto the pitch. Obviously the mascot's ready, we're ready, the game's going to begin and we'll come back for team talk a little bit later at half time. So over to you commentators for the next 90 minutes of football. Well, hello and welcome to a very windy Hollywell <laughs> Stadium with our uh, notes blowing all around the commentary box if you like but a very exciting evening at the same time so love for players just go through a final little pep talk together joining me in the commentary box as we said is Matt this evening Matt you looking forward to this one oh uh, Tom I'm buzzing for this game mate I've been looking forward to it all week it looks like uh, it might have been a Loughborough who won the won the toss there. They kick towards the Hollywell gym and they'll allow Liverpool to kick off. And standing over the ball, that's number nine, that's their top goal scorer, it's McCauley. McCauley scored 16 goals this season, so serious pedigree. We're told that Liverpool will line up in a 4-1-4-1 formation. And Loughborough... Looks like a 4-3-3 for Loughborough, Loughborough tonight. So we'll have to see how that one pans out. You'd never know. Sometimes those 4 3 threes convert into a 4 5 1 when defending. As the Hollywell Stadium has picked up really nicely and it's looking like a good crowd, certainly in the stadium end, it's really packing up. And it'll be Liverpool who get us underway. And I'll keep the ball in the centre before going long over to the left. And the challenge down the right is well won. And then can Liverpool pick up the ball? They won't. It's Loughborough and they'll go straight ball over the top, looking to get the striker in behind. It's good goalkeeping. Come out early there, but a really good chance from nothing there, Matt. Yeah, I, uh, it feels a bit like Loughborough are kicking down win first half, so they need to take advantage of that, definitely. But the keeper's done very well there. Come off his line early. Good starting position. Neuer esque. Very Neuer esque. So it'll be a throw in over in that far corner. By my reckoning, that's Trotman. Trotman is Luke Trotman. Pro at Lute in town before he came to Loughborough. Yeah, so as we were saying before, serious pedigree from a youth level in, in that Loughborough team that maybe just didn't get the, the break. We talk about players that have gone on from Loughborough and done all right. You look at George Williams, who's had a really good spell at MK Dons. Oh, for sure. Um, he won their Player of the Year, actually, earlier today. So Well done to him. Um, really good success here. And this is the lad Coyle that we've been told about in midfield. The player to the right and Longstaff, who's scored four goals this season for Liverpool. We're happy to keep the ball. And we'll probably expect that throughout the match where oh, they'll be comfortable in possession. These players else. will be very comfortable. They've been playing football for their entire lives. So as we say, they're really comfortable in the back four and that's where they'll, they'll keep it. Left-sided centre-back. And that'll be Johnston. And one more. And Coyle, we'll be able to drop short here, is Camacho. Exciting Portuguese international. Played at under-17 level. We'll look forward to watching him this evening. He's just going to look by this... By the looks of it, just find the pockets of space in that sort of number 10 position, which is the number he plays, as it's knocked over the top, looking in behind for the it's defence. It's, it's mopped up by the Loughborough defence. And can they come away down the right? They can't. Great tackle. A good challenge by number nine. That's Ward Cochrane and Longston. Happy to go back to the goalkeeper, O'Keefe. He can take his time and he'll just look for that diagonal ball over to the skipper leg it's a great ball he'll pick out the skipper on halfway can he drive forward he's got long stuff for company so he comes inside and finds his centre midfield partner and then Loughborough just a chance for them to get their feet on the ball pressed very hard by Liverpool and it's tight footwork they've got away down the right any type of space is good Trotman he's got an overlapping run if he decides to use it he looks for the first time ball it's gone all the way out for a goal kick but a good bit of play there good spell yeah, from the all first. started from Connor O'Keefe's kick actually very well done 
found Legs' feet, he was very composed, and they managed to switch the play and get on the attack. Trotman struggled with the wind a bit there, I think. And, and I think, like you say there, composure is going to be really important for Liverpool, uh, for Loughborough, sorry, because you're in amongst those, these international calibre players um, at, at their level. Um, and you're trying to keep up with the pace of the game and don't panic when you're on the ball, if nothing else. Of course not, it's a very big pitch, they'll have a lot of time, they'll have more time than we think. So searching ball down the right hand side, looking to get McCauley away. It's with the right back Williams, two Williams in the Liverpool starting lineup, not related. Nico and Reese. Reliably informed. <laughs> very reliably informed. <laughs> this is Jackson who comes out of defence, it's a sweeping ball and a really good one. He'll look for Ward Cochrane, can he keep it in? He can't out of play for a goal kick. A, a sign of both teams that are comfortable on the ball but happy to go along when need be. Of course, especially again Loughborough with this win, they really need to take advantage of this first half. Try and keep as much pressure on Liverpool as they possibly can. And this will be the left back, left side of centre back Johnston. He'll come inside to Coyle. First touches a good one into Camacho. Just rolls it back to Williams. 16 years old. So, although it's an under 18 team, look through the through this Liverpool side, a lot of 16, 17 year olds. It seems to be the way their, their under-18 squad sort of plays. It's a good run down the left-hand side, blocked by Jackson, out for a throw. And a good chance they, they're almost playing up their age group. Yeah, this, I think, I think that's very common in academy setups. If you're good enough to play at 16, you will play up for the under-18s. Likewise, if you're 18 and yeah. showing promise, you'll play for the under-21s. Yeah, a lot of um, the Liverpool under-18 squad, if you like, have been involved in the under-23s this season. A couple even in the first team, such as Jurgen Klopp's trust with these youth players. Trent Arnold, for example, has played um, a number of minutes for the first team. So it's an opportunity, if nothing else. And like we say, these players have really, in the, in the form of Steven Gerrard, have got some role model to, to live up to, if you like. Oh, what a better role model have you got? I can't think of one. <laughs> Loughborough would just... Keep possession and then come forward. It's a nice ball into space. Number 11 there, Crooks under pressure, can't win the ball. Williams will go back to the keeper. It's really tested him there on the half volley. Keeper's done really well there. That was a really testing ball, as you just said. Half volley there from Kelleher, Republic of Ireland, youth international. He's making his 12th appearance of the season for Liverpool. So down the right is Williams and Nico Williams will knock it forward. It's picked up in the middle by number eight. And that's Last. Plenty of time on the ball. Last seems to have a plenty of time on the ball when he gets it in the middle and really trying to use that, that right channel. And Trotman, who's done really well to try and win the ball back. And then it's cleared away. And that's Glennon looking forward for McCauley. Lovely layoff. And Liverpool come away down the left-hand side now. Bursting pace from number 11. And that's Crooks good defending. Good goalkeeping. A judge to have just kept that inside the penalty area. Heart in mouth. Stuff. It was actually Millie, Miller sorry, running away down the left-hand side. Great turn of speed, just showed the full-back his heels there. As it's Liverpool in the middle now. And Jones. And Keith there as well, showing his quality. Great starting position and mopped up well. Did really well not to handle that outside the area as well. It's with Reese Williams then, who just comes over halfway, allowed plenty of time on the ball, and now it's with Longstaff down the right. It's away from leg a little bit too easily. He just checks back, good covering, and now it's Camacho. Loughborough players biting at the heels of these Liverpool players, not letting them settle. Now it's with Coyle, who dictates the tempo of the Liverpool play. Plays it over to the left, and Glennon, one more inside, and Miller will find McCauley, and there's a runner, and it's a lovely little roll into their feet. And then he's just looking to set away Camacho, good defending. Well held up by Puxton. And now Loughborough, can they get their foot on the ball? It's a nice ball, finds plenty of space in the middle here for Rankin. He just turns and then gets away from Camacho, it's a heavy touch and he knows it, picked up by Longstaff, touch from Coyle and now it's Camacho, chance to break, rolls McCauley in down the right hand side, coming up to the byline, he's got one defender for company, he'll just roll it back to the right back, that's Williams, touch, one more inside and Coyle. Yeah, you can see here early Coyle adopting that deeper position to try and get himself on the ball. It's with Johnston and now Glennon, Miller down that left, a real threat, and he's got some serious wheels on him. And this is Jones. One more, and Coyle. Lovely ball forward to Camacho, who couldn't really deal with it when it came at it. Longstaff will pick up the second ball, and now it's picked up at left back by Crooks. He just tries to shield the ball out of play, does well, and then goes back to his centre half. McCauley going in late, and that's the first free kick of the evening given but the first seven minutes and Liverpool will be pretty happy Matt. They will I agree uh, they do need to hold on to the ball a bit better there it's a couple of loose touches from the boys giving the possession away too, uh, too easily. 
Again, I think we've highlighted already Coyle's going to be their main threat. He has been training with Gerard, as we mentioned, and he's already adopting that deep position with this so familiar with Gerard having. Trotman down the right-hand side, always an outlet for Loughborough. Just checks back inside. And one more inside and last time on the ball for him. And then Jones just decides to press. Not many spaces when you look at that back four, if you like, for Loughborough to try and break down. Now it's Trotman down the right-hand side. Time to get the cross in. Can he pick out his man? He can't. It's cleared away well by Johnston. And can Loughborough pick up the second ball? That's Rankin. And back to Brennan. Under pressure, they'll go back. It's number six, Jackson, and they'll go all the way back to the keeper, O'Keefe. His uh, kicking success rate so far has been good, but that one couldn't quite find its target. Longstaff picks up the ball in the middle. Knocked down. Rankin, last. Can he get away from Jones? He can't, and now can he roll in McCauley? He's the ball on, but Jones carries. He's 30 yards from goal, away from one, away from two. Inside the area goes on the right-hand side. Jones stands up onto his right foot. Can he get his shot away? He'll just roll it to Longstaff by the byline. Looks to work it onto his favoured left foot, can he? Checks back onto his right. Now he stands up the cross. It's a good ball looking for Jones, cleared away. It might fall for Glennon. It does one more on Jones. A good chance again for Liverpool. Happy in these positions. Miller, nice flick. One more on Coyle. Just couldn't quite roll it into his path. And he'll find Williams now right back. Further forward in that right wing position. Coyle will just take possession. It's tight defending from Loughborough. Managing to keep their shape, Matt, and doing really well to push Loughborough, uh, Liverpool back. Yeah, really compact to the minute, but they see they've slotted back into a 4 5 1 as we highlighted early, earlier on. Uh, last giving away possession, a little bit too easy. That was an example of Liverpool pressing quite high, doing well to dispossess him. I think just making them feel uncomfortable on the ball. It's uh, intimidating, if you like, really getting their faces early. I'm sure oh, will have sure. been the chat beforehand. Camacho, lovely ball into that right wing position for Williams to roll onto. First ball. First time ball into the box is a, it's an, not a great one, but it was awkward for the defender. So they had more time than he thought they could have potentially taken a touch, maybe lack of communication from his other players. Clever play from Camacho, unlucky as Brennan sweeps up well. And that's Reed, and a touch for Trotman now on this right hand side. Unfam unfamiliar position in a right back position, Trotman, I think, for his right back. And that's a lovely ball into the centre of midfield. Well done. He spent most of the time in the opposition half. And here he goes again. He's up against Coyle now. Reads in a bit of space down that right-hand side, and he does find him. Just one yard in from the touchline. Can he take it to the byline and get your cross in? He can, and it's cleared away by Johnston. It might fall to, to Trotman. Inside the area, right foot to death. It's an absolute stunner. Trotman, who's been galloping forward, doing really well with his defensive and attacking duties. The ball fell to him. On the apex of the edge of the area, right-footed first touch, slams it into the top corner. It's Loughborough 1, Liverpool 0. What a start, Matt. <laughs> we mentioned the Liverpool players trying to impress tonight, and that, that uh, goal would definitely turn a few heads. Unbelievable strike. Well, I think you'd say if, uh, if that was scored by a player in a red shirt, <laughs> we'd be talking him up as the they'd next... Be, uh, uh, they'd be signing a pro contract tomorrow. <laughs> Well, something out of nothing, and sometimes that's what you need against these kind of teams. Liverpool, happy in possession, but if you're not really going to do anything with it, we talk about that, Matt's got his mouth wide open. I <laughs> can't, can't, can't believe what I've just seen. can't believe what I've just seen. <laughs> Stunning. What a goal. That'll go in the, right in the memory bank for that young lad. What a strike. And a chance now for, for Loughborough. And try and just compose yourselves back in the game. You've not had the lion's share of possession, but you've got the lead. Keep yourself in there is what... I'm sure will be the chat amongst the players as it's a left-footed ball down the left to Miller. Can he turn inside? He does. Great ball into McCauley inside the area. Comes to the byline again. Well shepherded out by Jackson. So it'd be interesting to see the response that Liverpool were able to produce here. Yeah, absolutely. Sure, it wouldn't have phased them. Yeah, we we'll did talk. Out. We did talk beforehand. It's been a while since these Liverpool boys won a match. We have to go back about four games in which they did so. This is lovely, neat build-up play. And Longstaff looks to play in Jones, well cut out by last, and then he'll come away from one and two, and just trying to be a bit greedy there. Now Jones, 25 yards from, sets his sights with the left foot to drive. Might fall for McCauley inside the area. Defender there does really well. That was Jackson heading it back to O'Keefe. Yeah, is that actually Brennan? <laughs> Did really well there. Mus out muscled his player. And uh, O'Keefe swept it well. It's a chance for 
Could we just keep their foot on the ball for a bit of time, but O'Keefe will decide to go long. Trotman flicks it on. It's a really good win. Looking to get the striker Ward Cochrane in behind. He can't quite do so. Liverpool forced all the way back to the goalkeeper. Played 12 minutes. And so far, Loughborough, fairly good value for their lead. Oh, exceptionally. Kept a really good shape, made it hard for Liverpool when they've come forward. Just maybe, said, if anything, could just be a bit more comfortable in possession. Yeah, though. maybe guilty a couple of times of losing the ball in the middle of the pitch. Against players of these qualities, you really can't afford to do that. But as we said, they're taking the one chance they've had and they currently lead the game. Ball's gone out of play over on that far side, throwing to Loughborough. It's the goal scorer, Trotman. Who, uh, I'm sure if they, they blew the full-time whistle now, he'd be happy. <laughs> A chance for him to soak up this atmosphere as Jackson strides forward, plays it into the feet of Crooks. He's lost out to Coyle. Can't quite find his man. Now it's leg in the, just in front of halfway. Longstaff battling with the Loughborough players and Liverpool come out on touch. Camacho, good vision, knew what he was doing before he got the ball. Jones comes away with it over halfway. His ball's showed Miller a bit short and now Trotman urged to shoot. He'll run forward and actually give the ball away this time and it's picked up by Jones. Lovely rolls ball out to the right side and Williams now just checks back Crooks doing his defensive work and then Liverpool fit back into that shape and get all 11 men behind the ball yeah that's going to be key for them tonight staying Cam compact Camacho thinking about pulling the strings to Jones in behind then just switches the play over to Glennon a bit sloppy there but manages to keep the ball in in the end Miller as well it's really important tonight by the looks of things as it's really given away in a poor position there great challenge by Johnston Coyle picks up again and it's Williams comes forward for Liverpool and forward he's allowed to come and uh, play to his namesake Williams down in this right wing position one more long stuff comes inside Camacho give and go nice feet picked up by Crooks his standing legs taken but advantage allowed to be played on it's now with Rankin one more and Reed first touch inside Reed came back. Just thinking, Matt, it's really important for these Loughborough wingers, if you like, they almost become fullbacks to the fullbacks that they've got sat behind them this evening. Yeah, of course, especially as we've seen early, both fullbacks are pressing very high. Um, it's not a nice job, but Crooks has done it well so far. You're right, it's not as a winger you want to be beating players, yeah, getting crosses in. And <laughs> that's the dream. That, that's the measure of your success almost, but this is the dirty side of it as it's Williams. Sure, these on, these players have been drilling this all last week, they'll know exactly what they need to be doing. How, just how hard is it to keep a shape up like this for 90 minutes? They're doing a really good job of getting 10, 11 men behind the ball when they don't have are in possession, Matt. <laughs> it's a question of both, I suppose, fitness, which all, none of these boys will be lacking, but also concentration. Like, they'll be well drilled. They'll know exactly what they need to do. It's just a case of can they stay switched on in those key moments to make sure they do it. Absolutely, as it's over with leg over on the left-hand side. Loughborough, they are comfortable in possession when they can get their foot on it. As Jackson just goes back to O'Keefe. So the quality of our play shouldn't be underrated at all. Some of these boys have played to a very high level and will aim to be playing to a higher level once they've left here. Yeah, absolutely. Really underrated the university career pathway, I think, uh, uh, in many sports, but footballer. We've, we've highlighted Will George Williams. Yeah. As someone that has come through the ranks here. A lovely skip inside by Ward Cochrane and then he'll spray it over to the right-hand side. He's looking for Reed. flag stays down, and a lovely first touch, Trotman making a good overlapping run, and he gets the ball, and then whips the ball into the area, and it's take, plucked out the sky by Kelleher, and he'll get Liverpool underway quickly again, but a good break again down that right-hand side. By it's from Trotman, as you can see now as well, he's busting to go to get back. Yeah, it's going to be so key today. Could also be a problem, because going forward, a great attacking outlet, but if you're caught short when Liverpool nip the ball off you then you're going to be in trouble yeah if they're able to be quick in transition they will we'll give it away cheaply there but long, long staff. Staff. touch lets him down probably for the first time this evening yeah you won't be seeing that many times tonight so, still with Loughborough inside their own half the board is given away long staff he's scored one goal in a Two all draw with Man United this season, so pedigree for him as Crooks gets away from one, then two. He can't quite win the ball. Jones looks to get away from last and comes back inside. As you say, she's scoring against Man United, and uh, I'm sure that's almost up there with the FA Youth Cup for these boys. Those sort of games, the Everton's and Man United's there really, where they want to test themselves. Oh, of course, of course. 
So how many fish? How many fish does these boys play a season? But you've cut rid of the main thing for them. Was early. As Longstaff comes down the right hand side, can, can get it on his left, then his right drills it across goal. It's a great ball, finds it into the six yard box. Melee. I mean, this time it's Trotman doing his defensive duties, and it's a corner to Liverpool. Great burst down Longstaff. We're saying the quality he has. Evident this season, he's done really well. Put it into such a dangerous yeah, area, and from there, it's difficult to defend. Put that poor touch out of his mind straight away. Done really well there. Uh, Brennan did exceptionally well there to keep that out, and O'Keefe as well. Trotman muffing up well. The defender, you just got to get in front of your man there and oh, hope that it doesn't come off you and go into the back of the net. Just chuck anything from under the ball. That could have anything could have happened there. Jones, number eight, stands over the corner then, in swing and whips it in. It's looking for a red shirt. It might fall at the back for Williams. It'll fall to Longstaff on the edge of the area being stood up by the defender then looks to get away from him it's really good defending and away come Loughborough now to roll the through ball quite have it in the locker picked up by Williams and Liverpool will come back again it's with Camacho on halfway rolled inside and Johnston one more and Glennon and now Jones Jones and Camacho play very tight to the right but happy to come inside and take the ball and be creative on the inside as well but real threats on the wings from, from Miller and Longstaff in red shirts as well, Matt. Yes, Longstaff's been very, very bright this first opening 20 minutes. Wasn't actually in the uh, opening starting lineup. A few injuries to this Liverpool squad meant that he got the call up and he's been impressive so far as Liverpool just happy with possession. 19 minutes on the clock. Gloughborough certainly have done their job. It's with Camacho trying to feed Williams down the right hand side thought to whip it in and just go back to Camacho. Another example there, the fullbacks pressing really high and Crooksy doing really well to get back in line. McCauley, nice touch into Longstaff. Can he roll back in the Irishman? He can't, but he'll get the ball back and Longstaff will keep hold of it. 35 yards from goal, decides to go to left and Glennon. This is one more Miller being really tricky on the ball when he's got it and away from one, two, he finds himself in the area. Great defending, really good bodies on the line stuff for Loughborough for there. Yeah, again, an excellent burst of pace from Miller there. And Leg that a few times tonight. Leg will come away with it and he's found himself halfway inside that Liverpool half. Evades his actual target but does manage to find Reed. Guess he's on the overlap. He won't use him. <laughs> it would be, he won't use him. Comes inside. Crooks tries to hold the ball up. Can't quite roll it off to Poxon. Liverpool back in possession. One more and Williams. Just in front of their own penalty area. And all well and good having the ball in this area, isn't it, mate? You're not going to win a game here, especially when you're behind in the game. No, definitely not. It's Miller, chance for him to run. He's been really bright when he's had a go at that Loughborough defence. He scored six goals so far this season. Going back to, to your question about how many games they play, it's, it's kind of split up into to two seasons, and, and these boys are currently playing in a, in a mini box league in which they've, as Williams will just look to whip that ball in. It's such a dangerous ball. It just evaded McCauley, rolled into the arms of O'Keefe. That was a stunning ball in, Matt. Oh, fantastic ball. Again, from the fullback. Shane is really pressing high. Yeah, good, good day for the fullback so far. So that's a, a great challenge. It's a story of two fullbacks. <laughs> Look, we're just trying to settle on the ball. Can't quite find Reed on the right. They play two uh, sort of leagues of, since Christmas, and then they play in a box league at the moment in which they've played against Reading, Arsenal and Chelsea like we say um, Chelsea who won the FA Youth Cup losing 1-0 there but the game before that losing 4-1 against Arsenal so plenty of football for them to play as Miller that is incredible skill away from Trotman and then just look to be shepherded away by the Loughborough defender can find McCauley and it might fall for Longstaff can't quite pick out the top right corner which he aimed for great run from Miller yeah, probably should have scored it's that man Miller again excellent burst of pace bit of skill did really well to get past Trotman down the line. Longstaff disappointing with that on his favoured left foot. Just missing the top corner. He knew exactly what he was trying to do. Just whip it into that top right stanchion. Couldn't quite pick it out. O'Keefe was beaten. There's no doubt about that. O'Keefe no chance with that. Still 1-0 to Loughborough. That Trotman goal. 12 minutes. The difference between the team is a really poor clearance by O'Keefe. Picked up by Camacho. His touch is a good one and gets away from last. In field he comes can't get away from one more left for a shirt always oh, a purple shirt in the way as Longstaff picks it up down the right tries to flick in Williams Camacho will he pick up the second great challenge leg it'll fall all the way to halfway some really strong challenges coming in Excellent Keller, position from the keeper there that was it well Kelleher into the wind high and not far at all just wouldn't quite fall would it 
for Ward Cochrane. Williams picks it up and just puts the con post foot on it now, this time Coyle. And then rolls it into Jones. Can he find McCauley? He's beaten the offside trap, but Jones decides to go alone into the area. He goes still on the edge. One too many. McCauley fuming. He was in on goal. But Loughborough will regroup with possession. That's last. One more and Reed. And this time Loughborough will come away down the right. Bore fruit for the first goal. Cannot get them a second. Here comes Reed. Tights the right touchline. Really good feet shown by the winger. He's just muscled off the ball and then Coyle with a good challenge. Got man and ball. Oh, yeah, definitely. No complaints for that for me. Cool. Cool. Comfortable in this position. I'm sure if you saw a stat of the possession, it would probably be a lot in the middle third of the pitch. Inside the final third, Loughborough, not a lot. <laughs> Apart from that one moment yeah, so of magic. Yeah, they have the goal. This is the danger man for me, Miller. He's been really tricky. Jones and Cole are very comfortable. But Miller, when he gets it, looks like he can beat a man. I say he's got past Trotman three or four times now with that excellent burst of pace. Tricky feet as well as it's with Williams down the right. Longstaff's gone. He can't find Camacho inside. And Liverpool pick up possession again. Rolled into the channel for Crooks to chase up against Williams. Shepherd the ball out, William. Now we'll go back to Kelleher. Takes a touch. We said before a lot of a lot of 17-year-old, 16-year-olds on that starting lineup. I think in, in a way you can you can almost tell the naivety with the ball. Right. From Liverpool. From a Liverpool perspective. Yeah, yeah. I think they're very happy to have the ball, but as you said, it's certainly in that it's in their, their third. They need to look to burst forwards a bit more. That's a searching ball looking for Longstaff and it's a good one. Leg will do well to shield this one out, took a chance and does really well to beat off Longstaff. Then he'll go back to the, his goalkeeper. He's happy to just get rid of it, the truth That's be told. That's what he could do there. Longstaff is closing him down. No. Reeson really well to keep that one in. And Trotman back on the ball. Plays it forward into the feet of Ward Cochrane. Roll back to Trotman. One more and defender Brennan. He's played forward. It's a sloppy ball. Coyle will pick it up, but his first touch isn't good enough. And this is Cochrane muscled off the ball by Cochrane at the risk of a foul. That's you. Oh yeah, Loughborough now have the free kick. Hopefully a chance for them to settle down on the ball a little bit. They've been a bit, again, like you said with Liverpool, I think Loughborough have been a bit naive as well. They've given the ball away a bit too much for me. What what can they do to sort of change that? Who's who's the who's the player that needs to take the ball by the ball in the game by the scruff of the neck and keep keep a hold of it? I say almost do what Liverpool are doing so far. Just have a bit of, have uh, possession at the back, just gain a bit of confidence in the ball. Then look to use maybe po uh, Pox in the middle of midfield and Rankin as well. Liverpool back in possession with Johnston. Think about coming forward, then they'll go sideways. It's Glennon who's just frustrated by the lack of movement. He'll go back to Johnston and says, I don't want to play it long and in behind. Don't forget, Liverpool are kicking into the wind, so that ball will hold up. It's with Coyle. Sees a lot of the ball in deep positions. You'd like to see him almost do a little bit more with it. So he's adopting that Stevie G role very well so far. <laughs> the latter years of Stevie G, I think. Very latter years of Stevie Picked G. up by Loughborough. It's a good starting position by Kelleher again. He's managed to come out quick. It'll be Williams v Crooks. Crooks wins it. And it's picked up by Longstaff. Just inside his own half. Comes forward and then rolls it into the feet of McCauley. Can he turn? He can't. He can, but he's bundled over and then he'll get a foot in and leg... Gives the ball away and necessarily in Longstaff down the right have come inside this time. McCauley just looking to flick it. He can't quite do so. Ranking comes away with it. It's sloppy and Williams will come forward again. Yeah, got lucky there, Loughborough. Leg did burst through, but no one sat around for him. Did get a bit lucky there. And then as soon as Liverpool back in possession, that shapes. It's harsh for me that I think actually for me there, Rankin's gone and he's, he's won the ball more than the man. He's given the referee decisions to make there though cheap for me. It's with Jones looking for that run from Miller. If we're just wary of that threat. I have to say Matt, the stadium's really filled up nicely this evening. Opposite us the stand almost full. Behind the goals a little bit empty but the stands we're, we're in as well really packed. Oh yeah, I'd love to see an attendance stat for tonight. It was expected about maybe a thousand. I think I, I, Yeah it was, um, Luke said earlier, probably about a thousand and I think we're probably not far short of that so a really good good opportunity for both sets of players let's not pretend this is um, a small crowd for the Liverpool players either it's rare they play in front of sort, this sort of crowd but fans have come to watch who they hope will be the next generation we said before Marcus Rashford turned up 
for Manchester United a couple of years ago. I'll yes, tell you what, if we see a play like that out here tonight, we'll, um, we'll be taking note. Well, as we've seen so far, I think Miller may show, show a bit of promise. Certainly, McCauley up front as well. He's scored 16 goals in, in any league at this sort of um, age, and, and you're a hot prospect, that's for sure. It'll be with leg over on this left-hand side. Longstaff covering, and they come back inside Loughborough and Rankin. And more on Brennan, nice touch into last. And this is where they need to have a bit of composure, played over to the right in Trotman. It's a really nice ball for him to run onto. And then fed into Reed up to the byline he comes. Can he pick out his man? He can. He did really well to find Potts, and he just looked to roll in Trotman for a second. Yeah, just a bit of miscommunication there, a bit of a lack of understanding. Uh, that was an example there. Last did really well, came short to get the ball, and they're able to build, build a decent attack from that. Yeah, and purposeful with it as well. It's so, like we say, it's okay having it in that, that centre circle, but being purposeful, and he found a nice ball on the right hand yes, side. Yes, he did. So, Liverpool again in possession. Jones, last a lovely Great turn turn away from last. Now, can he get a shot away? He can, right footed effort. Just pitched up in front of him. He picks out <laughs> a young spectator. <laughs> That's an excellent turn though from the midfielder. Disappointed with his shot, but as you said, it did pitch up in front of him. Yeah, he's gotten lucky there. I'll tell you what, for this get, for this time of the season, you've got to say the pitch is in unbelievable oh, fantastic. condition. fantastic. Ground staff working around the clock to get this ready for the game, I'm sure. <laughs> That's one cliche, nail. <laughs> it's so key. Goes long, flicked on by Crooks. He did well. It's out of play, though, for Liverpool throw in the centre-back. That's could do, though. He did well. Kelleher will go to Johnston. Young Scottish international. Scored four goals this season, shown plenty of promise, even made an appearance for the under-23s against Derby County. As Williams will knock it forward, looking for Camacho, it's too much. And that style of play doesn't seem to suit Liverpool at all going they, in behind. They haven't looked to do it so far. That's probably why. <laughs> I'd say so. It's, it's cleared away, anywhere will do, and a bit of miscommunication there because Cole was underneath it. Poxon can't get it down, Jones for company. It's Jones versus Poxon, Poxon does really well, and then last will pick up. Now can he send Reed away down the right-hand side? He can, it's picked up by Kelleher inside his own penalty area, and Liverpool will just recycle the ball. Come away with Williams up to halfway, and Camacho, they take it They take it deep and short, the Jones and Camacho, Matt. Yeah, so I was going to say the win doing um, Poco no favours with that ball forwards. So just cheaply given away. This chance for Loughborough to regroup. Just keep your foot on the ball here. This is Rankin. There's one more in Jackson. I'll go over to the right. And Trotman, he sold him short there. And Miller will nip in. Not the player you want to give it away to. Now Miller v Trotman. Sands him up into the air. He comes left foot, right foot. Drills it across goal. It's well defended by Jackson. Atoning for his earlier mistake. And then it's a poor clearance by Reed. But he'll get a second bite at the cherry. And here again, Loughborough will come down the centre with Crooks. Great turn of speed from him. And then can he roll in his strike partner? He can. The flag's gone up. I'd love to see a replay of that one. LSU Media, what have you got in the locker? <laughs> So Crooks is showing an excellent burst of pace of his own there. Yeah, Just unable to, Cochrane unable to hold his run. Yeah, it must have been. play from Loughborough. Yeah, really tight. He would have almost certainly been in there. Keller starts in a good position, but I think this time Cochrane was onto it. Longstaff, really good turn of speed away down the right hand side. He's so unfortunate that that's rolled out of play for a throw in. Good turn again. Been very impressed with Longstaff this evening. McCauley, I'd love to see him fed a bit more they've, si they've said before he's really good Republic of Ireland international he scored 16 goals this season and we're yet to really see anything of that he scored in a 1-0 win for Republic of Ireland against Slovakia in March as well so he's got international pedigree but he's not been given the right service I'd say so far Matt harsh to blame him no, very harsh to blame as you just said service not quite what he's expecting so far I'm sure not what he's used to playing at that level Glenn and Miller interchange. They can't quite find the one-two. Loughborough anywhere will do. Call, pick it up. It's a nice touch, is it? Can't quite find Jones. It looked like it did from our angle. Call, get it under his spell again. As we said before, Stephen Gerrard recently taken over this Liverpool team. He's not here tonight. But certainly uh, the sort of role model <laughs> any player would want to be growing up for. And I'm sure on the training ground he'll probably show them a thing or two. Oh, for sure. As we said, mentioned earlier, Coyle's just got the possession of the ball now. He's uh, Gerard's taken him under his wing. I mean, that's some best to take it. He's won it all, hasn't he? FA Cups, Champions League, I suppose. He's not won the Premier League, um, which a lot of players will say that's a, a notch on his notebook. But I think if he'd have played in a lot of other... It's almost wrong place, wrong time from a lot of occasions. Uh, a couple of slips here and there as well, costing him. <laughs> Outrageous. 
had to get it in. It's certainly a, a talent. Over yeah, 100 appearances for England, over 20 goals for them as well. He's the sort of player that you'll craft your trade and learn your train from really well. And, and players like Coyle, Camacho, Jones, they're in a great position under him. Gerard welcome him, a new kid to the world as well, last week. So Touching. congratulations to him. <laughs> I'm sure he's listening, so. <laughs> I expect he will. <laughs> it's with Williams then. He'll go back to Williams. No relation, as we said earlier, reliably informed. With Johnston. <laughs> One more on Williams. Just shy of halfway. Clips it forward, looking for McCauley in behind. Jackson wise to it. Not quite got McCauley into the game. There's leg in that left back position. Will chop inside. And then Logstaff for company. And they make it tight for you to play in these positions. But Loughborough showing that they can play too. That's nice football. Keep your foot on the ball. And he just goes long diagonal looking for Trotman. I tell you what, if he picks him out, that is some ball. And he's taken it in. His stride really well, great burst of place. Now it's a Reed, edge of the area, away from Coyle. Eyes on goal now, Reed, can he get a shot away? He can't, he checks back, rolls it into Trotman. To the byline, whips the ball in, it's cleared away by Johnston, picked up by Jones. And then one more, Miller, now can he break? Loughborough short in that right back position, but he's crowded out, he'll go back. What a ball that oh, was. Eric Leg, fantastic ball. And Trotman as well, get advancing again. He's seen that much in the last sort of 15, 20 minutes. I did really well there. Great ball over the top, looking for Longstaff. That would have been a great touch. Can't quite bring it down. And it's picked up now by Brennan. Takes a touch away from Miller and then rolls it to the right. And Trotman, he's having a great game. Trotman really bailed out Brennan there as well. It was a hefty, gave him a lot to do. As Jones looks to roll in, McCauley picked up possession. McCauley's got ahead of his defender here. He's done really well. It's excellent great cover there from Jackson. Yeah, it's really good covering. And at the expense of just a throw-in as well, he's not even given away a corner. It's taken short by Miller. It's actually gone long because Jones has left it to Glennon. Jones will get it back. What can he do? He's got McCauley to aim for, just trying to arc his run. There's only one Liverpool player in the box at the minute, that is McCauley. Glennon, one more, and Miller. Like you say, he's only got McCauley to aim for. It'll be some ball, he can't pick him out, he'll fall over to the right back. Williams takes a touch, not much pressure, whips it into the ball, into the area. It's not very well dealt with by one or two players in Loughborough shirts. McCauley picks it up in the area, then gets his shot away, right-footed. Can't quite find that bottom corner, but that was all a bit of a mess there. Yeah, Loughborough very disappointed with that. Two players swinging the missing. Lucky not to concede there. Yeah, lucky. You can't really give players of, of that quality the chance inside the area. Just ball into the area that, truth be told, O'Keefe didn't really deal with in any sort of way. Tough in these windy conditions. I think he'll be a little bit disappointed he couldn't hold on to that one as it's back with the goalkeeper. Happy to keep it last, one more. And Brennan will clip it forward, looking for Cochrane. That's a nice touch, he's got Johnston for company. Comes deep, really well played, last, lovely turn. He's got leg over on the left, Dick, if he can find him, thinks to go outside the right boot, then he's checks like, inside. He was like, oh, wasn't he, Tom? He was, he looked for that right-hand side. You just saw him try to shape his boot and then he thought better of it, but Leggett made a great bursting run down this left map. Ward Cochran as well, been a bit isolated so far this half, dropping deep to get the ball. He's picked get himself up into the game. Well in midfield, now Crooks one on one with Williams, can he get away from him? He can't, he's just tripped by Nico Williams. Longstaff coming back, will knock that ball out for a corner inadvertently. Yeah, first corner of the game for Loughborough. So first one of the game for Loughborough, I'm sure. Spend a lot of time working on set pieces, Matt. And um, what sort of thing can is there any any sort of set plays, run the play sort of thing, or is it all whip it in and get your head on it? <laughs> I can imagine giving Loughborough a blessed with quite a bit of height actually, and Paco and Brennan. I'm sure they'll be trying to pick those two players out. I'm sure they will be the target. Be the right winger, Reed, both hands up. I'm not sure what signal that means. We'll see. In swinging ball, it's not a bad one. Looking for Brennan, attacks it really well. It just couldn't fall for Crooks either. Leg halfway inside the Liverpool half does really well to pick it up down the left hand side, then play it into Reed. Gets a give and go byline. Lovely football from Liverpool. Pulls it back. It's well defended in the end. Awkward ball into the area. Anywhere will do from Johnson. Great play from Loughborough, Matt. As you just said, anything will do from the defender there. It did really well. Leg as well there, whipping in a good ball. And it will be Leg who takes a throw in. Our oh, vision a little bit obscured over there. We'll do our best keep you up to date as it's with last he does really well it's a nice it's a clever ball but leg wasn't quite aware to it it's picked up well there and then crooks down the left hand side he'll roll it off williams can he win a corner he can't it's out of play for a throw in poxon did well to read it there Matt. 
Yes, he did. Was that the ball? I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> my, my vision was as, as obscured as yours. Great ball over to the right, and Trotman stands up the cross, looking round the back post of Proxman, and that's a good bit of goalkeeping there. Proxman. Is that his own player took him out there? I think it was that both. I think it was both players. I actually thought Keller had done really well there because he had both hands on the ball yes, and it did. was on impact by being sized by both <laughs> players that, that really brought him down there. But I actually thought he commanded his area brilliantly. Yes, he did. Agreed. Tough conditions, as O'Keefe has found out this evening. Johnston rolls it into Miller. Can he get away? He can't. He's just surrounded by purple shirts. He rolls inside to Jones. He's got Williams over on this right if he uses him. He uses loss. So over like there from the fullback. Can you pick him up? There's a nice, nice idea, wasn't it? But as you see, again, Crooks has filled in at left back to track the runner of of Williams coming forward from the right back position. Yeah, these Liverpool boys put in a lot of hours last week. They'll be, uh, as we said, they'll, they'll know their individual jobs. Reed, that's a really intelligent ball looking for Ward Cochrane down the right hand channel. Can't quite pick him out. Glennon rolls it into Miller now. Up against Trotman, it's pace on pace. Miller's got the beating of him on a few occasions, but Trotman does really well on that one, Matt. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Great analysis. <laughs> so it's rolled in edge. To, to Miller. One more in Jones. 40 yards from goal this time. Rolls it over to Williams. Bit of space this time. Crooks comes over to cover. He won't get there quick enough. It's a ball into the area. Cleared away by leg. And then picked up on the edge. Coyle will pick up the seconds. And then anywhere will do. Cleared by Brennan. And it's a chance for Luffer Striker to give chase here. He can't quite keep it in there. Will Cochrane. Risky play there from Paco in front of his own area. He said earlier, Matt, that Ward Cochrane's found himself a little bit isolated, and we said the same about McCauley. Yes. How can how can Liv Loughborough, sorry, feed feed him a little bit better, him and Proxon? Is it two options? He can either well, wait his time out and wait for that one opportunity that he'll surely get, or he can look to come in, drop in deep, and receive the ball to feet and try and introduce the wide players such as Crooksy and Reed into the game. Yeah, McCauley going for, for your first option there, certainly trying to get him behind, waiting for that opportunity. I think there's, it's irrelevant, him coming short, isn't it, when you've got Jones, Camacho, they're your ball players. Oh, of course. This is now with Jones, he's happy to go back to well, Williams. Liverpool playing a 4 1 4 1. It allows those two middle, uh, midfielders to push on with uh, Coyle staying in behind, yep. mopping up anything that comes through. Camacho to Coyle. Liverpool have experienced, and uh, Liverpool, sorry, have. Played around with formations in the last few weeks. Played with a 4-3-3 and a 4-1-4-1 as well. They played the 4-3-3 against Chelsea and lost just 1-0. So I wouldn't be surprised in the second half to see if they do sort of change it up a bit and maybe sign so threats from different yeah, areas. As you said, McCauley has been isolated. So going to a 4-3-3, as you said, would hopefully introduce and uh, give him some more supply. Yes, Liverpool have the ball inside their own half. Jones and Camacho almost swapped the sides of pitch they'll play on and this time it's trying to find Jones it's really good defending last watched it really well and now it's picked up by Poxon rolls in Ward Cochrane he's beaten the offside flag and he'll come down the left hand side he's got both Williams for company he'll look to roll the ball onto his right foot and come into the area and he finds Poxon on the edge of the area urged to bend one to the top corner rolled to Reed. Can he get it onto his left foot or a right foot Reed? he'll roll it back to Poxon and goes to shoot again this time he'll try to roll in Crooks can't quite find him these fans really want to see some shots this yeah, evening. Eye, eyeing up the shot there, trying to bend it into that top corner, but opted not to. Rankin as well there, cut inside his left, could have potentially done the same thing. But again, a little clever ball from Pocker, not quite finding its target. Four minutes till half time. Loughborough will be thrilled, won't they, Matt? What do you think Alex Ackley will be saying when they go in at half time? Say they'll be thrilled with the results so far, but maybe giving the ball a little bit too cheaply. I think they can definitely be more composed on the ball. Yeah. Let's keep it more in the second half certainly when they have it as Miller. This time he decides to drop deep and he goes past one or two. Williams is in acres over on this right if he can find him and he does its fantastic ball. Williams takes it under his spell and then will just try to chip it into the area. He didn't quite connect with it yeah, well enough. Disappointed with that. They had a lot of time though, Williams, to pick out across. He'd be disappointed with that. Miller again doing really well and we said it's easy from us here, up here to say if he can pick out Williams on this right, we've got a great bird's eye you'll sort of view of it if you like. He's down there on the pitch and he's trying to look at the ball, keep that under his spell and then find his players as well. He did well, didn't he, Matt? Yes, he did very well. This is not long. A little tussle up front and the free kick's been given away of Loughborough. So de settle down here, Loughborough. Three minutes to the half. Don't need to take any risks. Just getting at half-time, 1-0. Yeah, take, take your time with the free kick. 
take a few seconds as well there last, just saying he's not far enough. There's roll back to Trotman, give and go. And they can keep it here and keep their foot on the ball and, like you say, run down a few of the minutes before the half ends. But as you see, Liverpool do press you very high as well, Matt. Yeah, they do. Flipper can guys to get to half-time 1-0. They'll certainly be the happier of the two sides. O'Keefe, great kick again. Well flicked on by Leg. And that'll roll through to Jackson down in the, the left-back position. Played into the feet of last. Give and go. This is good football from Loughborough. Really good spell of possession. Applauded by the fans in this stand. And now it's Poxon away from one and two. And then can he roll it into the feet of Trotman. Tight to touchline. He's got the run of Reed to the byline. He didn't use it. Now we'll give it to him inside the area. Reed, can he get a shot away? He can't. It's well defended by Glennon and cleared by Johnston. Miller's underneath it as he can take it down. It's Wow. Great first touch as well. But good tackling back by last. So Reed finding himself a bit of space there. Almost uh, unexpectedly so given it was in the area. Yeah, he'd, Trotman decided not to use him with that little roll in, and I think he could have done it a little bit earlier, running onto the ball, you can get that cross in, Matt. So I had a mic nicked off, nicked off me there. It's with Williams and Jones down this right-hand side. That's my, my paperwork. Fed into the feet of, of Longstaff. Really is windy conditions, tough up here in the commentary box, let alone down there as Jones tries to roll it into the feet of Williams can't quite find him it's good defending from Crooks as we said earlier they're both the, the right and the left winger for Loughborough doing a really good defensive job Crooks so, certainly puts some miles in doesn't he yeah shielded it out well there just buying Loughborough a few more minutes Rankin and leg over on this left hand side keep the possession he goes back and it, this time it's O'Keefe who manages to pick the ball up the goalkeeper doesn't want it on his left foot clears it away in the end does really well Crooks battling with Williams appeals for handball waved away that would by have been the very referee. harsh that would have been very harsh I think it hit his chest Williams will go back to Johnston Poxon deciding against the press and this time they'll press Coyle and force him back to Williams just a minute away from half time Lifford doing their job McCauley's made a great run down the right hand channel he's been found as well up against Jackson to the byline he goes now can he stand him up in the area rolls it along the six yard box it's well cleared away by Brennan for Brennan a throw in Brennan very good position there for him and dealing well with that cross it'll be Longstaff then to take the throw in we'll just roll it into in to Williams just looking for a bit of movement he'll get it from Jones and then thought about the give and go but instead he'll take it to the byline this time he'll come back to Coyle Liverpool do see a lot of possession in this area. A bit different there from Williams to turn away and then whips it in to the area, sailing over. O'Keefe unsure on quite where that was going to land, so, but in the end over his bar. I'm sure that was a cross, but it's nearly found itself in the top corner. It's a Loughborough goal kick. We're just trying to retrieve some notes up here in the commentary box. No added minutes, 45 minutes up on the clock. A great first half performance from Loughborough. Trotman gave them the lead just after 10 minutes. A great right-footed strike, the difference between the two, and they'll be very happy with their first half oh, work. Yeah, that's that strike worthy of winning any game. And we're going to hand you over to our pitch side man, Ed Radford, who's going to talk you through that first half. A very good first half, Ed. Thank you very much, Tom. What an amazing first half there. What a screamer of a goal. Um, we're going to look at the highlights in just a moment. But what a brilliant start for Loughborough there. An amazing first half. Both teams really going out and some incredible football being played. Um, we're going to take a look at the highlights now, the first half, uh, and see what you might have missed.
first half, I'm now joined with Tom, our man on the ground, who's been watching the game very closely. Um, what, do you, what do you make of the first half? Um, I think it's been quite a uh, tight for, uh, first half. Both teams have been uh, struggling just to get that final pass to get um, to really challenge the keepers. None of them have really had uh, many shots on goal. But I think um, once the players kind of get more comfortable, uh, get used to the pace of the game, um, they'll definitely uh, open up a lot more in the second half. So, uh, what do you think the standout moment so far, the game changes have been? Obviously, the goal. <laughs> yeah, obviously, without saying the goal, which was an incredible finish as well. Uh, Luke Trotman did fantastically well to anticipate the ball. And then, um, to, uh, it was a quite difficult finish and he managed to get it in uh, the top corner, which is impressive. Um, there were a few ch uh, chances as well that I think um, Lofra, um could have got. Um, it's just a, a miscommunication between Trotman and uh, Poxen towards um, about halfway mark. And, um, but uh, other than that, I think it's been quite a tight game. Yeah, no, absolutely. And do you think it's going to come down to goals like that to get in the back of the net? Because uh, that's not that's not one you would have expected. Absolutely not. I think everyone was quite taken aback by um, just uh, how good of a goal it was, and um, it really is going to be a small difference that's going to make the um, that's going to uh, divide the teams. Um, as I said, the teams are struggling to get that final ball, really challenge the keepers. So any kind of lucky bubble and like a good through pass is going to make the difference. And what do you think? What do you think they'll be saying inside now? What what needs to happen in the second half for that breakthrough moment from either side? Um, I think uh, for in the Loughborough camp, they're definitely I'm going to be happy with um, how they're doing. They're defending really well. Um, Loughborough, uh, Liverpool have had a lot of the ball, but then that's really because Loughborough have been defending really well, uh, keeping two banks of four and not really letting them get through. Um, I think just uh, keeping some composure on the ball as well. You've seen Loughborough have given the ball away uh, some, uh, a few times quite sloppily. And um, I think on, in the Liverpool camp, uh, just probably just continue what they're doing. Um, they may just get that opportunity. OK, so final question. There's 45 minutes left to play. What do you think the score is going to be at the end of that? Um, honestly, I think uh, Loughran might just uh, get them on the counter on another goal. So I'd say 2-0 to Loughran. Well, let's look forward to those final 40 minutes. Now, obviously, this is a match report special down here at the stadium. You might have caught some of the stuff we've done before. A lot goes into behind the scenes of creating match report. And we've compiled a few moments to show you what goes into it. Match Report isn't just the show, it's the whole brand that comes with it. I'm Ryan Andrews and I direct Match Report every Sunday. We meet every Monday to organise Sunday's show. So this is including people from the radio, the magazine, um, even people from the photography section lens. We decide what we're covering um, and what we're going to push for this week. On a match day, Label sends a group of volunteers to all of the different fixtures across campus. The journalist team then go report on the matches and then bring that back and write match reports for Label Online. They also feed that to Match Report the TV show, so they can use that for their commentary and a range of different stuff to enhance their TV programme. Hi, I'm Tim Hunter and I'm the Loughborough Campus Radio Station Manager. Once we get the match reports through from Label, the magazine, we then get a group of volunteers to come into the radio studio and do the voiceovers for the VTs. We've also just invested in a new piece of equipment called Lucy Live, uh, which means that volunteers can go out and do outside broadcasts of commentary for any of the sport going on on campus on Wednesday afternoons, and we have a time slot set apart just for that. So every Wednesday, Lens volunteers, that's our photography section, go out and get pictures of all the sports going over campus. Um, and it's really cool because all the photos get watermarked with the Match Report logo and it's really nice to see your work out there and see all the hard work you've put out going around campus being put into such a great show. Doing Match Report has given us loads of opportunities to try out new ways of promoting shows so that we can get as many views firstly for the live show and also for the on-demand content that we put out every week afterwards. So there's things like Snapchat, we obviously tweet a lot of stuff, it goes up on Facebook, we put Instagram posts up just to try and see what works for people and see what gets them engaged so that each week we grow our audience. Being able to show everything that's on offer at Loughborough is a fantastic opportunity and the show definitely gives us a platform for that. Something new our AU clubs have been doing this year is vlogging their away games. Um, this is for Match Report but it's a really exciting opportunity for viewers of Match Report to see a whole match day experience rather than just the, the game playing. It also allows us to do things often on campus that we would only have dreamed of done until this year um, and it's given us a lot of life skills on how to get a show ready um, in such a short space of time and it's a bit more of a real working, a working world system whereby we've got a deadline and we have to hit that every single week and hopefully it's set some good foundations for the future for more things that we can do and more things we can achieve here at LSU Media. So earlier we took a look at the Team Talk video, which is a new campaign that Loughborough have launched. And now we have the wonderful Holly, 
who uh, you're, you're kind of the brains behind it. Yeah, me and Hannah definitely kind of ignited this team talk idea that a lot of people have kind of flown with. So it's branching out a lot now. Yeah. So tell me about it. What's it all about? Um, so we just kind of at the start we kind of want to like introduce mental health conversations within sport because we did we launched a survey and um, a lot of people tend to think that showing their mental health is like seen as a weakness and they don't really want to kind of portray that as a sports like star here at Loughborough. So, yeah. so in the future obviously we get people talking and things like yeah. that so where do we go with this campaign it's all about getting people talking what, what are we going to do? Um, over, over to you Hannah. <laughs> I think it's probably about um, starting to educate people now so talking about it's great and that's what you want to focus on to begin with but I think for Holly and I it'll be about moving forwards with it kind of educating people educating coaches and ensuring that coaches allow their athletes to talk about mental health just as much as they would physical health as well. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges about getting people talking that's the hardest part isn't it? Yeah it's just it, it's that general stigma and I think um, the fact that we're doing this within sport it's it's that that sense that the athletes need to remain completely strong all the time not show any form of weakness which a lot of people tend to think mental health is but it's really not so so this yeah. is this is girls and boys men and women everyone everyone completely i mean mental health literally affects everyone and yeah like there's many stories within like the media recently like you can just see it everywhere with all different types of people and i've seen in the media a lot at the moment there are more people coming out about mental health issues in sport is that helpful? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I know that Andy Mann's club, the It's Okay to Talk thing with rugby, went like massively viral, and we kind of are hoping for the same kind of thing with this to encourage our athletes to really take the like role of being like the youth of the world, talking if you want. No, I think it's fantastic. I'm really excited. I've got, I managed to get my wristband. Yeah. So um, don't forget well. to go get your wristbands and support <laughs> the cause. It is a fantastic cause, and it's really, really important. So. Um, don't be hesitant, get talking, that's yeah, what it's all about. Um, we're going to take a look now at some of the Loughborough Lightning stuff and see what's coming up. The pundits, well, the commentators, sorry, I should say. Hello, commentators. How are you feeling yeah. after that 45 minutes? Yeah, cold. <laughs> <laughs> Donate a thermal, that'd be much, much appreciated. Was it what you expected? 1 0 at half time? Well, I, I thought Liverpool would come out and, and be on top and get the early goal, but it didn't, it didn't prove that way at all. I think Lif Loughborough defended really well and really nullified the threat of the, the Liverpool attack. Liverpool happy in possession, but I think are guilty of not doing enough with the ball. Um, they find good space down the right and I think if they can start to pick out their men with their crosses, certainly the right back Williams, I think they'll be in a, in a better position. So I asked Tom earlier, our pundit, about what he, what he thought they'd be saying in the changing rooms. Um, so you think it's just about getting that, that speed, that pace of the ball more organised? Yeah, they have had a lot more of the ball. I think it's just looking to do something with it now. As Tom just said, their right backs had a lot of joy down the right hand side, got a lot of space. And uh, on the other side, um, what's that guy's name? Left midfielder. Miller. Miller, yeah. Miller's had a lot of... He's, broken through the ranks a few times so hopefully they'll do that second half well I think it's really really exciting that goal we've got to talk about that goal screamer it's done it wasn't it that, that goal for years we said we said uh, I know it's a bit of a cliche but if one of the Liverpool players does that we're probably talking about this guy going on and being the next yeah. Uh, yeah. name me a good right back <laughs> <laughs> Danny Alves <laughs> but if but um, it's done by a Loughborough player and he's shown his talent there's a lot of talent on that on the in the Loughborough team and I think people you know do them a disservice a lot of these players have played at, at youth academy level and that that goal probably is the epitome of that. I think earlier on in the week we saw Coy, the Liverpool player, scoring that screamer of a bicycle kick. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, my vote's yeah. going on that for best goal of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely rivaling it for sure. <laughs> so uh, next 45 minutes, obviously we're going to see some hopefully more more organised Liverpool and maybe a more attacking or defensive Loughborough. I think Loughborough would be happy in in the sense of with the score. I think from the Loughborough perspective, it's can can they keep the ball better? Liverpool need to show a bit more attacking intent. I think we said they've played around with formations in recent weeks. They played a 4-3-3 last time against Chelsea. I wouldn't be surprised if they reverted to that and tried to get McCauley a few more sniffs in front of goal. Yeah, we were talking about it there. McCauley's looking a bit isolated at the minute, so hopefully they might change formations to try and bring him into the game a bit more. So I heard you mention it earlier, but Liverpool on a bit of a bad run. Uh... <laughs> yeah, they've... 
they play in the sort of mini league at the moment and their last three matches they've lost to Reading, Arsenal and Chelsea. At the end of the day you lose to Chelsea, FA Cup FA Youth Cup winners. It's it's not it's not the <laughs> biggest problem in the world. But but certainly they come here and you go behind and they will start to question and can they get something out of this game. Especially if Loughborough can stay compact for the first 10-15 minutes, that'll be key for Absolutely. them this half, especially against the wind. We have spoken about it a lot, but do you think Stevie G would be looking down at this disappointed? I don't to be honest, I think yeah. Anything that he comes in with now, he's working with a base. He knows what he's working with more than anything. So if he comes in and they lose 1-0 to Loughborough, well, for him, from his perspective, he's got a lot of work to do with the players. That's his job at the end of the day. He's there to, to try and get the best out of them. They say he's taken Coyle under his wing. Well, if that's the case, then I'm sure he'll have a great impact. But that is his role. He's going to have to earn his money then. Stevie G. Yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I don't think he needs to. Anymore, <laughs> and he's, yeah, he's done that. <laughs> An illustrious um, well, I think we're just about to go into the second half. I don't know how long we've got left, but they are going to do the run? penalties in a bit. Have you? You know, we always do the penalties. Have you seen the penalties? But the half-time penalties. The half-time penalties. The I most important. A few suspect penalties. Are we getting involved? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard there are a few, um, a few people already planning what attack they're going to give. No, you've got to plan your penalty out. Oh, don't yeah. just go in and kick it. Oh, well, hit and hope. I shut my eyes. So. <laughs> shut your eyes. <laughs> shut my eyes and hit it. No, I've, I have one penalty. Are we actually getting involved? I don't think we are, I'm we afraid. Are. I think it's no. been and gone. It I gone? mean, you can see them over there just in the background warming up. Um, and then we've got, some, uh, we've got some children playing. That's cute. Yeah, playing yeah. with Thor, our new mascot, which is exciting. I quite like so our new mascot. What do you think? Don, um, I think it's supposed to represent the history of, of Loughborough and, and everything that's with it. So in that case, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. It's a very warm costume, I've been told. I, I imagine that it's nice right now. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it. Do with that in the commentary box for sure. I'd know, I need a, a jacket like yours. This is very looks very warm. Do, you've Am got I a lovely wrong? jacket on, Tom. Well, you know, this grass is always greener, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, I'm going to have to send you back upstairs because I think you need a coffee to warm up and get in position for the second half. Yeah, thank you very Absolutely. much. Thank you. No, thank you very much and good luck for the second half. We are going to have a wonder and have a chat to a few people. There are some uh, awesome spectators here who we're going to have a chat to. Hello, guys. How are you doing? What are your names? Uh, Isaac and Bads. Bads. So what do, you think, what do you think of the first half? It's been quite good. I think it's quite positive. And uh, Loughborough have quite played. Yeah, well, what are you yeah. expecting for the second half? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so You're not quite sure. Probably yeah. football. Football is unpredictable. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously. I think they'll step up a bit in the second half. Okay, so what do you think the score is going to be uh, at 90 minutes? I don't know. They've had a lot. Uh, Liverpool had a lot of the possession, but I wasn't here to see the goal. But yeah, I think they'll get another two goals and end up winning. But who are you guys supporting? I'm not supporting anyone. You're not supporting anyone? Why are you down here? I don't know, just to see football. Yeah. So, what's been your um, standout moment? Obviously, you missed the goal. Uh, uh, the number 10 looks pretty good, uh, quite a skillful player, I, uh, I like watching him, but that's mainly it, yeah. Okay, so um, so um, what do you guys think that, uh, in the, are you guys going to come to Loughborough and play football? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, in the future, obviously, if I, can, if I get the opportunity, yeah, I'd love to. But um, right now, playing, playing about in uh, Sunday league with, with mates and stuff, so, yeah, hopefully in the future. Okay, well, thanks very much for talking to us, guys. Enjoy the second. I'll take that off you. Thank you very much. So there we go. Some amazing uh, fans there. Very enthusiastic about it. We're going to go back up to the commentators who hopefully have got back in position. Hopefully with a warm coffee. They were complaining about being cold. But the players are back on the pitch. So let's go up for the next 45 minutes of this wonderful game. Yes. Thank you very much, Ed. Yeah, we just managed to <laughs> get back up. We didn't manage that coffee. So if you want to bring one along, then uh, be my guest. It's quite nippy up here. As we said, a little bit windy for the players to contend with in that first half. It seemed... Like Liverpool were kicking into it. Liverpool have made a sub. If we can find our sheet of paper, it's number 12, which is Bobby Adikanye, who has come on. He signed from Barcelona in 2014, so this lad should be able to play. You, hope you play. would hope he can play if he's come from <laughs> Barcelona, for sure. Um, he was involved in the match against Chelsea the other day as well and, and threatened. He's uh, been on the score sheet a number of times for Liverpool this season. And see what he can do. He's replaced Miller, who I have to say has been the biggest threat for 
for Liverpool. So I'd say that's almost a bit of a reprieve there for Loughborough. Number 14 as well for Liverpool this evening. Come on is Adam Lewis. He's made a change. We'll try and find out. I think he's come on for Coyle actually, so I'm sure he'll sit and do a similar job. See if he can maybe do a little bit more of with the ball. There's the final sub. Sorry, we've just missed all this. So number 15 as well for Liverpool is Abdi Sharif. He's come on as well as Longstaff encouraged to shoot again. He'll come down the right-hand side, whips it in, cleared away by Johnston, up but not out. Longstaff clears, and now it's with Lewis. Looks to roll it on, and this is Adekanye. First chance for him to show what he can do. His great feet. He's done well to get out of that. He's done really well. And Jones just looking to find a play over on the right with Williams. And one more now, and Lewis. Predominantly left-footed, so a chance really by the looks of things for Liverpool to really have a look at some of their players as Adi Kanye will go past Longstaff, does really well. Left-footed, can he whip the ball? And it's a really dangerous ball in towards McCauley. It'll fall to the back post and Camacho look to clip it inside, cleared away by Loughborough. And then can they pick up the seconds? And they'll come away now. And now it's a chance. The game just becoming a little bit more stretched at the start of this second half. Foot on the ball this time from Wood, from Poxton, sorry, he'll take his time. It's rolled over to the left. Some very luminous boots out there. I thought thought there was a, an academy rule that until you broke through, you had to be wearing the black boots. There's some there's some very vibrant ones on display, Matt. So we didn't see them in the first half, did we? Has he got them? Cha has he changed them? Some really well read down the right hand side. He's robbed Glennon of possession, but it came off his foot before it rolled out of play. You were saying uh, Miller going off has been a bit of a reprieve for Luffer at Adekanye straight away. There showing yeah. his class. I have to say, Longstaff's. <laughs> been in for one heck of an evening hasn't he? he had Miller who was nippy with great feet and now he looks like he's got a similar prospect in the form of Adi Kanye it'll be Camacho yeah it looks like a change in boots there for Loughborough's number nine that's Ward, Ward Cochran Cochrane. it's with Johnston left footed zips it over to the right looking for Cochrane he can't pick it out picks out Cooks instead who puts it out of play into that far stand for a throw in just a couple of minutes gone. We said at half time it's important for Loughborough to really just set up, stop, shop, and make sure they don't concede early in the second half. Don't chuck away that lead. It's a lovely ball into Jones. And can he turn away? You can't. He'll find Adi Kanye down the left hand side. Reed doubling up on him. Looks to whip it in left footer blocked by Longstaff. Sorry, Trotman. Throw in. That's the one. And it will be a corner. So very difficult down here to try and. See if it's a corner or not. Adi Kanye rolls it into Jones as well. Apex of the penalty area. Look to get stand up and rolls it onto the edge of the area. It's to substitute Sharif. One more. And Camacho over on the right-hand side. He's in acres of space. Sets his sight, sets his marker, then puts it into the area. It's blocked by Crooks for another corner to Liverpool. Good spell. Yeah, example of them coming short to get that ball and open it out the other way. Loughborough defending the area very well, though. And so it'll be Longstaff who comes across to take it in front of the scoreboard, which currently reads 1-0 to Loughborough Longstar favoured left foot in swinging corner is a deep one looking for Johnston Brennan rins really well and it'll fall to Camacho just look to roll it to Sharif and it's played into a dangerous area by a Loughborough head and then cleared away looking handball there Board Board play. Play. can't quite find him referees pulled it back free kick to Loughborough and I'm sure they'll be happy to take their time 49 minutes about to hit the clock steady start to this second half. So Loughborough need to settle down. Need to get a good spell of possession here, settle the nerves. They get the ball under their feet. I think it's been quite hot off the boots. Liverpool have settled themselves and certainly had the better of the opening exchanges. I'm expecting Liverpool to press a lot higher this half as they have the wind with them. It's a kick over to Trotman whose touches done really well and then thinks about going back but doesn't and Adi Kanye knocks it away from him and then rolls it into the area looking for more Corley it's a poor touch can't quite get it under his feet it will be high up into the air and a throw in again for a Liverpool throw in and one more and Glennon comes inside to Lewis takes a touch as well rolls it into Adi Kanye it's a stunning ball to the byline goes Adi Kanye who can he pick out stands it up looking for the back post and Camacho first touch is a good one left footed striker gets a shot away really well diving away to his left there O'Keefe I think he would have been beaten Matt yeah excellent display from Liverpool right there excellent ball great first touch with his chest took it away from two uh, Loughborough players and got an excellent shot away 
And keep it in the world to keep that out. It's the, it's the ball from Lewis, isn't it, that's oh, really sure. cut the defence in half. So Adekanya doing well to get on the end of that, whipping in a great first time, first time cross. It's not a keep good disappointing kick there. Yeah, it's not a good clearance and stuff like that's only going to put Loughborough under pressure as it's rolled back to Glennon. One more on Lewis, happy to keep it here. A bit more intent with him on the ball. So fizzes it over to the right. Lovely first touch from Camacho. Sharif wants it inside. And it's just rolled in towards McCauley, cleared away, picked up by Poxon. A nice one-touch football from Loughborough. Jackson will go back to O'Keefe. Can he clear long? He does just in time. And now it's a chance for Reed to break over Glennon. And picked up by Cochrane. Over to the right and Trotman takes a touch to go down the right. And Ward, can he get it in back? He just can't quite feed in Trotman. Good play from Loughborough. So Trotman there trying to display what he showed in the first half with a burst and run forwards. Unfortunately, wasn't able to find him with the pass. So really here he is now. Poxon's done really well to find Trotman. Reed's just inside if he can use him. He looks to roll him, but Sharif read the game really well. Now can Reed win it back? He can't. He's a judge to a foul, Sharif. Free kick. But better better in a better area of the position there for them. Yeah, you've just said it. <laughs> Getting into that final third for the first time in this half. And that that's, sounds silly and obvious, but it's the best way to take pressure off yourself is by being in the, yeah, the course, team's half. If you have the ball in the, in the final third, that's obviously a lot of less pressure on your goal. Yeah. Certainly, we said they should. They may tinker with the formation, and I can't quite work out if this is a, a back three or if Sharif is playing in a four. It actually looks like Sharif's coming inside, so it's a back three, um, and Sharif tucking inside to make a, a three-two, th three-two almost. I have to maybe see how yeah, that I'll one plays out. Of it, half Sharif, they've taken away, off. They've certainly taken off the right back, William. So we'll see how that changes the game. Because Loughborough don't want to be caught short there, especially with Adekanye. He's really shown a strong start to his second half. Good first touch by Ward Cochrane, and now Poxon. Can he get away from Sharif? He's got Lewis for company as well, and now he nips it away from Camacho. See, he picks up the spoils there. Poxon does really well. Now can Loughborough just have a bit of composure on the so ball? That's what Loughborough need. leading the way there. Just an excellent bit of composure on the ball. Stab. Relieving a bit of pressure. It's back with O'Keefe, who just wants to see his wingers and fullbacks took wide. It's picked up by Jackson. Halfway inside his own half. Last just pulls deep for him if need be. It's fizzed up towards Ward Cochrane. Takes that's it down true. well. Leg can't quite get away. And then Poxon, can he pick up the second? And leg does well. And actually, it's turned into a through ball for Ward Cochrane. And Glennon will go back to the goalkeeper. An example of what we were talking about at half time there, Tom. Ben Ward Cochrane dropping in short to get the ball to feet. See if he can do that more this half. It's the goalkeeper, Ben Williams, who's come on for Kelleher. At half time. Make that one of four subs. That's a lovely first touch from Glennon away from Reed. Now up towards the Loughborough defence. And he make it pay. Looks to defence cutting ball again. Adekanye's the outlet. First touch isn't a good one and allows it to roll out of play. But as a winger there, Matt, are you just thinking, get your cross in? Do your job. I think he got to the ball quite late. It would have been difficult to whip in a decent cross from there. He just tried to give himself a bit more time. Unfortunately, his touch letting him down there. Bright start to the half, though, from Adekanye, for sure. It's that ball again, isn't it? In between centre-back and right-back that's cut Loughborough in half again. They've got to be really wary for that. Yeah, that's the one. Fullback always needs to tuck it in there slightly to try and cut out that ball. It is, it, it's hard to play against because once it's done you, it's, it's kind of done yeah, you. Well, you're you're playing a chasing game as then. As soon as that pass cuts you, you're out of the game. You need to always try and stay inside of the ball if possible. That's the job that Lewis is doing so far. He's uh, in a bit more of an attacking outlet than Coyle was first half. Camacho, great feet to come inside. And then he's lost out though to last. And now can Loughborough come away? Poxon plays it short to Crooks. Could have played through to Ward Cochrane there, he's a bit disappointed with that. Well, Rankin's done well to get away from one or two, but Sharif will pick up the second. Williams, one more, and Johnston played forward to Longstaff. First bit of time on the ball for him in the second half. It's all been with Adekanye. Longstaff showing he's got quick feet as well, and Sharif, and one more, and Johnston. Have you managed to figure out what that formation is yet, Matt? <laughs> it's with um, <laughs> Glennon at left back. It's looking like a back three. That's what we've got so far. Lewis, he's come up with a couple of defence splitting passes so far. This time he'll choose Sharif right and then into Camacho, who's a bit further right than Longstaff, which is a change. Maybe they're playing almost as... Could be that Camacho and, and Adekanye almost wing-backs. Kind of see I how think you're right there, Tom. I actually think you're right. Adekanye then is doubled up by Trotman and Reed, but plays it inside to Jones. Now can he find an outlet? He rolls it into Sharif. 
Yeah, to wing back seem to be the thing of the 2016-17 season, don't they? Is it a fall to Longstaff, long pot shot? Yeah, goals Chelsea behind. leading the way this season with that, obviously dominating the Premier League. It was sort of a, a leading light, wasn't it, when Alonso and uh, Moses became <laughs> wing backs? The whole world sort of took notice, and from then it's been adopted by a lot of teams. And it's, I suppose, it just gives you more of an outlet on the wings. And it does for sure. Defenders need to know exactly what they're doing, though, otherwise they can have space in behind. So coming on for Loughborough is number 14. He's replacing Alex Reader, who was playing on the right. It looks like Crooks has come over to the right. Drew Bridge coming on for Loughborough now. Currently on placement this year, but still able to play for the boys. That is the knowledge. <laughs> That's great. Lives on our road, Tom. <laughs> it's Loughborough. We'll keep the ball then. Chance for Bridge to, to impress. I'm guessing no relation of Wayne. No, he's not. It's currently the, the brains behind the Apache fitness range that's currently dominating Loughborough. Well, there you have it. Oh, that's a great challenge, Johnson. you love to see it. In hard on Ward Cochrane. It, it, that is right. Crooks has come over to the right-hand side. Bridge over on the left. I'm sure Matt will tell you more about what sporting wear to put on. As the defender's all Follow over. Follow them on Instagram. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. Johnson absolutely all over Ward Cochrane there. And you've got to say it's a needless foul to give away. Deep bit. in their own half. Unusual from him. Yeah, it's a bit of naivety, as you were saying in the first half. Bit maybe too eager. Chopman sells Poxon a little bit short, but managed to get the ball again. And then Lewis can find Ward Cochrane. He's pulled back again. Chopman will pick up the second. He's got Crooks for company if he needs him, and is on his weaker right. And he'll whip the ball across goal. It's well defended and well kept out by Williams, commanding his area really well. Gets it away quickly to Jones. He's got some lovely turns in the locker, but. Trotman will go back to Jackson. It's well defended in the end. Yeah, Trotman doing well to get back in as quickly as he did. Ball from Crooks wasn't too bad, considering it was his chocolate peg. Is it? <laughs> Keeper doing well to claim it. Though. Had a Kanye turning one way, then the other. I don't think he knew where he was going. Anyway, he plays it over to the right. And Camacho, he's just got to check his run and come back to retrieve the ball. One step over back to Sharif. One. Sharif seems to be playing a bit of a free role here, Tom. Who's that, sorry? Sharif. Been all over the place. He does, it's more on that right side, that's a lovely ball in towards Jones, cut out. Like you say, happy to keep the ball and get on it when he can, as Jones biting back. That's very petulant, that. Yeah, it's a Referee will have a word. Sign of, of youth as Loughborough preparing their second substitution. It looks like Here he is, it's Dapo, Fernin. Spent last season in Canada at the Toronto FC Academy. Jack Poxon coming off for Loughborough. Is he a fresher? Is that right? He is a fresher. He's currently playing for Solihull Moors in the National Panorama National Conference. Love Some love pedigree. Of, I believe he played for Chelsea as a youngster. Yeah, he's um, spent his younger years at Chelsea's academy before heading out to Canada. In Canada, look out there. Canada, Toronto, of course, where Jermaine Defoe was last season. It's a lovely ball. First bit of play for him. Cochrane, can he find in the middle? He can. Oh, it's a oh. stunning finish by Crooks. A great ball into the area and Crooks with the. Jamie Vardy-esque oh, flick behind his back leg and it's a stunning finish and Loughborough have doubled their lead. <laughs> I don't know what to say there, Tom. That's just come out of nothing, really. Good bit of build-up play from Loughborough. And Crooks, who has spent most of the year injured, it's done well to break his way back into the side in the last few weeks. He'll be delighted with that goal. What a finish. Well, you talk about introductions. What a, a telling first touch that was for the lad Dapo that just came on. He's released Cochrane down the left. He's done well to get a ball in, and you're thinking it's behind him, but Crooks has done well to improvise and, and flick it from behind him into that bottom left-hand corner of Williams' goal. It's a stunning finish, and Liverpool have been undone by two great Loughborough goals. You just said it, Tom. Two fantastic goals, both of which we'd expect to see in the boys in red, but not boys in purple delivering the goods so far. And again... <laughs> We said it before, if, if, a, if a Liverpool player tucks a ball away like that, we're looking at him and going, hello, he's the next big star to come out of you this You said it yourself, very Vardy-esque. It was shades of that goal against Germany, wasn't it, in that pre win. It was, as Lewis comes away down the left-hand side. Can he find a man in the middle? He can't. It's picked up by the substitute again. Dapo looks over to the left. The Crooks can't quite find him. Glennon will pick up. Now surging run down the left-hand side. Trotman can't get tight enough. And Liverpool have really lacked quality in that area, I think, Matt. The full-backs get into great positions, but they haven't been quite good enough when they've got yeah, there. I think they'll, they'll take a few, few crosses to get used to the wind. Obviously, it's a different feel now. Crossing into the wind is very different from crossing against the wind, as they experienced in the first half. Crooks are caught on his heels there. Dapo selling him short with the pass, though. That allowed Liverpool in to make that cross. Should have done better with it, though. 
It's uh, a leg then comes inside. That's really nice football, smart ball inside and a bit of time on the ball comes forward. This is Dapo. I'm going to have a go at his second name. Afolian. Afolian. Okay. Denied you the guy. <laughs> no, I'm happy you did. <laughs> just only thinking to myself when he took the ball in. Toronto, of course, where Jermaine Defoe was just a couple of years ago. If he's had any chance to be under his tutoring, then we've got quite a striker on our hands as it's played into the feet of McCauley. He'll take a touch and then he'll go back to Johnston. Like we said, for, for the Liverpool boys who are, who are lacking, maybe lacking in confidence, they're certainly lacking in wins, have to go back four games in, to find their... Seems to be lacking in ideas at the minute, Tom, as well. Right, come so so playing very resolute, very good line. It's a ball in between the lines this time from Glennon and Jones picks up. That's a nice ball into McCauley. First touch is a good one. Now can he roll Jones in behind Brennan? Just doing the no-nonsense stuff that you want to see from your defender there. Yeah, Tom, you said it, no nonsense. Brennan's been playing non league football for years. Very experienced player. There's a couple of people up in the gym just trying to uh, get a crafty watch of this. I can tell that um, no they, they are, the they are no in the weight section and they're just watching the match. So uh, free ticket for them. As Jones stands over the corner, right-footed, in-swinging ball, he'll roll it to the edge of the area. And Lewis, it's not a great ball. I'm not sure he was quite aware of it. And he'll turn it towards the back post on Williams, head it back to Longstaff, edge of the area. Can he get a shot away? It's blocked, corner ball. Longstaff almost better off trying to hit that first time, maybe. You're not going to have that much time in the box to bring that down and get his shot away. Loughborough did well to close him down there. Maybe could have hit a busted it up, maybe got in the end of it first time. That's a chance then for Adekanye with that left foot to get the ball into the box. And Tessa Loughborough defence again, 62 minutes on the clock. They'll be very happy with their lead, Loughborough. It's whipped in, it's a dangerous ball. It's cleared away to Jones. Edge of the area, first touch is a good one. Can he turn it back in? Goalwards, he can, and it's high, wide. Try to use the win. Well, that's a Not very effectively. <laughs> generous excuse. As Herbie Kane will make the way for... Jo Jones, sorry, will make way for Herbie Kane. Herbie Kane, who's made two substitute appearances for the under-23s this season. Three starts for the under-18s, picking up one yellow card in a match against Manchester United. That's the story of his season. Now he's at Loughborough. <laughs> and now he's on the pitch at Loughborough. See what he is bringing to the fore as Sharif trying to battle half-time substitute, battling well, but oh, it'll be a purple shirt that comes out on top. And then Afoylan. I said that right? Dapo Afolian. I might just go with Dapo. Uh, Dapo. <laughs> Brennan knocks it, looking for Trotman. It's a great run down the right-hand side. Williams comes and does really well. Trotman, he left his foot on Trotman as well. It was brave goalkeeping from Williams, exactly what you want to see from him. He went in with his feet rather than his hands, um, and Trotman seems to have come off a lot worse as Liverpool don't want to put the ball out of play. Camacho will carry on its lovely feet but can't quite get away from the purple shirts of Loughborough. It's a good ball forward to Ward of Cochrane. Can't See, quite. Trotman, who is recovering from an injury up there, Crooksy has sat in for him well. Example of what we were talking about in the first half. As Lewis will come over halfway. Juice. Can he break the lines to find Camacho? It's good defending from leg. He just kept goal side of him and he couldn't quite get in behind. And Crooksy just can't quite get the ball under his spell. Plays Glennon into Adekanye. Up against Crooks. And it'll be Adekanye against Trotman. Adekanye looks to take the scenic route round him. And he's all over him. He can't quite do anything. It's great defending from Trotman. It is, I like that, the scenic route. <laughs> well, he showed him line and instead he went inside. Yeah, <laughs> Trotman got his body in the way, though. Did, did, dealt with that very well. Played short by Loughborough. I do like that Loughborough will try and play their way out of defence. Yeah, that's the philosophy they've always built themselves on. But it's left them a bit short here as it's with Kane. Rolled into McCall, the edge of the area. Good defending. Headed forward, Longstaff trying to get it under control. It's up, it's in the air. I'll tell you what, the ball hasn't been, in, hasn't spent a lot of time up in the air this uh, this evening. I'd say the ball, Matt. So it's one of the very few times it has, and Loughborough fortunate to get a free kick there, a high boot from the Liverpool player. He's just having a bit of a talking to from the referee. Let's see, if we got the referee. He's not on the he's not on the sheet. We can't give you his name, unfortunately. But he'll be happy with his evening's work. It's been very quiet for him. Very. Yeah, so I think not put a foot, foot wrong. I believe that's the third foul of the evening, as it's with Loughborough in the middle now. Dapo takes it short and then rolled over to the left and leg takes a touch inside. Lewis thought about going in strong and leg just rolled him off. Now can he feed in crooks? He does well. Johnston is equal to it. Dapo will come short and he's just beats Lewis to it, allows it to go out of play for a throw-in just in front of halfway. 
Interesting song in our ears, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what's going on? I've got a song in our ears and it's quite, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's, it's not football. Anyway, Dapper lose that on halfway to Camacho. Okay, great strength from him, but Camacho does well to beat him to it. Tried to roll in Kane, instead finds Adekanye. Now Kane will go round Trotman as well. Adekanye's made the overlapping run. It's with Herbie Kane. 30 yards from goal is Lewis now. Can he find that ball again? He instead he rolls it into Sharif, takes a touch, and then he'll just settle on the ball. Gives a chance for Loughborough to regroup their shape as Lewis again tries to find that ball. Instead, it falls to Adekanye deep in the left wing position, right by the corner flag. Do well to conjure something up here. Goes back to Kane, takes a touch inside, then rolls it into the area for Lewis. Can he drill it across goal? It's a really poor touch, and he's disappointed by that, and the Loughborough fans love it. <laughs> so yeah, running into the boards there, kicking it in frustration. So a lot of students down here now. Atmosphere's very, very good. I think I've been impressed, Matt, certainly with number 14 for, for Liverpool, Lewis, uh, playing in the, the role that Coyle played, but he's actually uh, really trying to do something with the ball. Yeah. A couple of times cut the defence in half and he's unlucky there. So you've just said it, he's <laughs> better intentions than Coyle had in the first half. I think maybe the gaffers... I think they've got different yeah. roles, haven't they? Yeah. I think it's probably unfair to single out Coyle. Um, the manager would have uh, explained to, um, what he wanted from the 14. And so far he's done it very well. Good feet from Bridge down the left and Cochrane rolls it back to the substitute Ridge. Rolled into the air for Cochrane. Cook's chance again yeah, and Bridge and it's... Crooksy offside. Pulled up for offside. When Loughborough go forward, you've got to say, they haven't gone forward a huge amount. They've been very resolute in their defending. But when they have, they've really caused Liverpool some problems. Yeah, they've gone more, they seem to be going more direct than Liverpool have. Like Liverpool are trying to exploit the wings, whereas uh, Loughborough are trying to exploit the middle of the pitch. I think it's been very effective so far. Adekanye not had much joy up against Trotman, so finds himself inside the centre circle. Good defending just a couple of seconds ago. All left footed Adekanye, so Trotman really showed him inside onto his right. Well, we're just preparing a couple of other substitutions. Rolled into the feet of McCauley. His touch isn't a good one. And it's rolled back to Glennon. Said there, Trotman doing a great job on Adekanye so far, which is why he's gone hunting inside. Kane over to the right and Camacho. That's a nice sprayed ball. And Shar Sharif making the overlapping run. Can't get... Can Don't often see that at this level. <laughs> the old left foot, right foot. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say... Liverpool's end product has been fairly disappointing. It has, it has been poor this half. As they're just preparing another sub themselves, Akira Simmons um, set to come on. Let me just see if we can go through our notes to find a little bit on Akira Simmons. It's over here. What's he done this season? He's an 18-year-old Englishman. He's made nine starts and 12 substitute appearances, scoring five goals. So he's got a goal in him. His last goal came against West Ham, in which he was booked in the same game. So uh, maybe it was for the celebration. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, Simmons has gone, and it looks like he's going to play straight up front with McCauley. So we'll let you try and work out the formation again there. <laughs> well, he's flat back three at the minute, but that number four sliding back in. I think they've gone back to a back four with uh, Jackson and O'Keefe and Loughborough can keep the ball here as we hit the six, approaching the 69 minute mark Loughborough two goals to the good and good value for it as Leg takes the ball down rolls it into Bridges touch isn't a great one it's picked up well by Rankin and then it's Jackson can he find last in the middle he goes for Ward Cochrane he just rolls it in to Bridge it's not a good ball into last but he'll give a go up against Kane, he can't win the ball, and that's rolled into Simmons, back to goal, just lays it off to Glennon. It's good defending from Brennan there, making sure he didn't turn on him. And now Lewis, who's been the playmaker of the second half, rolls it into Simmons, can he get away? He can't, last us really well, and Trotman goes back to Brennan, who just scoops it away. Again, that no-nonsense defending we were talking about earlier. Doesn't beat halfway though, and if it doesn't beat halfway, it will come back at you. Lewis, that's a lovely ball, over to the right, and Longstaff, good first touch, and he's up against leg, comes inside onto his left. He's shown back to the right, and that's a lovely back heel to Sharif on the overlap. Good ball into the area, cleared away so by Jackson. Back heel taking three Luffer players out of the game. Cross should have been better from the position he was in. Is it gonna Jack be? Langford coming onto the pitch for Luffer now. Just, uh, just of note, because I think Adam Lewis has been fantastic for Liverpool the second half. Just a 17-year-old. Uh, played 26 times, making 24 starts for Liverpool this season. You can really see that. And he was the one that scored in the 4-1 defeat against Arsenal just a few weeks ago. And there'll be a large round of applause 
coming off the... That was right. Is that Rankin? Yeah, uh, it's Thomas Rankin with uh, Jack Langford coming into the mid middle of midfield. Jack Langford. What do you know about Jack Langford? I know he is a final year student. Where is it? Stick out our notes. Throwing, taking short matches, trying to find out a little bit about him for you as Langstaff. Let's go past one, then two byline. Great ball in, right footed. Adekanya, can he keep it in over on the far side? He's got Glennon with him to try and do so. He can't keep it in. Throw in. So the man that's just gone onto the pitch spent his junior days playing at Rochdale. So again, another sign. Not far from Liverpool, I believe. If my, well, it's not far from Manchester, which my, can't be far from My Liverpool, geography so. is not that strong. That was my, my thinking anyway. Shot you are from that way, I'd back you over me. <laughs> I'm not going to claim that's right. If you want to uh, tell us in. that we're wrong, tweet in. Hashtag, Drew, hashtag it. Pog back. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag pog back. Anyway, Lefro will come again down the right-hand side. Trotman looking for Dapo. Can't quite find him as it's cut out by Johnston. Thrown taken quickly by Crooks. Johnston just got back in position quickly and then it's cleared away by Lewis. Adekanya heads it on. Brennan. Plays it forward, Crutch can't quite get it under his spell and now Lewis will take control and then he'll look for that cutting ball again. And it's the, the substitute Simmons giving chase up against Brennan. Right by that corner flag, Simmons up against Brennan. Simmons doing really well to roll him and then goes down. It's really good defending. I'll tell you what, Liverpool have not got any change out of Brennan and Jackson at centre-half. No, season. no, at all. I've said it a few times already, but Brennan doing very well. They're shutting him down and not giving him time to be able to express himself as he has done so far this half. So, still 2-0 as we hit the 72-minute mark. O'Keefe takes the ball central in his uh, six-yard box. You see that all the time. It's a great flick on. Can Dapo get in behind? He can't. Glennon's done really well. Plays it back to Williams. It was a really good flick, and it just set Dapo free down the middle of the park. This time, Liverpool going a bit more direct. Jackson will go back to O'Keefe, who just says, fullbacks, please, wide. And uh, it's not a great clearance, in all honesty. <laughs> <laughs> to get Difficult play. against win though, Liverpool pressing him. We are using the multi-ball system, I can confirm, because we've got two, two balls <laughs> back on the pitch. Anyway, Liverpool use the one that Trotman had and they'll play it over to the left-hand side and bridge, cushion header into Ward Cochran, touches a good one. Now can he play it over to the right and Trotman, that's a lovely ball. And he's got Dapo on the overlap if he uses him. Trotman will go into the area, cleared away by Johnson. It might fall on the edge of the area. It will and Ward Cochrane is offside. Tries to bend his effort goalward, but he was offside anyway. Look, I don't think that was an intentional pass forward from Langford. I think it was just a tackle. Walcott could not manage to get himself back on side. Do we know where the ball boys are from tonight, Tom? Um, can't say I do. We've got we've got a number of them around the pitch. So we're sporting yellow shirts earlier. Now they're green. So I imagine they're two local Sunday League teams, and they're certainly yeah. Get the multiple system. It says Kane is chopped down, but McCauley, good advantage played by the referee. McCauley goes down in the penalty area. Free kick given for the earlier foul. Well, Kane had just got away from, I think it was, was it Longstaff? Or was it? was sure, but that it was, was Trotman with the tackle there. It was Brennan who put the challenge in. It was very late. Very late indeed. He gets away without a caution. Kane, great feet away from him. He's almost taken one for the team, I'd say. They're clever foul, if anything, because he was he was in there. Oh, he's done well to escape a card there, for sure. Referee playing a good advantage and pulling it back. See what they can do from this free kick. So it will be a free kick then. It's 22, 23 yards out. Just left of centre. Kane sets himself in that almost Ronaldinho stance. It's a three-man wall from left, but it's quite... Quite bends light. it into the well, wall, he might get a second bite of the cherry but it's brave defending, now can Liverpool break, they can't, it'll fall to Lewis, rolls it into McCauley inside the area, gets his shot away, great effort but just drags it across the right hand upright of O'Keefe's goal, good effort from McCauley. I think O'Keefe had that covered but yeah, excellent play from Liverpool. I think they, he scored 16 goals and, and that's the predatory instinct you see isn't it, where you take a ball down in the area and you get that shot away. So yeah, disappointed not to hit the target there I'm sure of a player for his quality. O'Keefe then still stands over the ball and he'll go long. That's probably his best kick of the evening. It's a good one. Beats halfway. Glennon equal to it though. Flicked on by Adekanye. Now can Kane, just a bit of head tennis. Trotman takes it down really well down the right hand side and then rolls it into Crooks. Comes over halfway. Lewis for company. Good feet by Crooks. Rolls it inside to Langstaff. Bit of composure there from Crooks. We haven't seen that much this half from Loughborough. I haven't seen a lot of them in this final third. 
As it's a lovely turn there from last, just unlucky. Longstaff gets away from him, thinks about the foul. Now he's up against Bridge and he goes past him over halfway into Kane. 35 yards from goal, driving towards it and then rolls it over to left. And adikanya has got a bit of time, takes a touch to stand up his cross. It's deep looking for McCauley, hangs in the night sky. And then it might drop to Sharif, but last done well, rolls the, off his back. Free kick is not given, the advantage is played. Will Cochrane done a fantastic job yeah, look how the second he's gone half. Here. Done a really good job of holding the ball up, Matt. Yeah, I'll see. Oh, he is on the pitch right now. He's come right back into the Loughborough's first third to get the ball and do his defensive work. So I think there's been an injury. It could be cramped down there in the penalty area for Loughborough. They have worked exceptionally hard. Just trying to work out who it is that's I think it's down. Elliot Leg, is it not? I think you're right. He's put a serious shift in at left back. Like Loughborough are preparing a substitute down here. I can't quite make out who that is, Matt. Uh, that's Alex Dinsmore, fresher. Try and dig some up on him. Alex Dinsmore, a, a fresher, so not a bad first year experience for him playing in front of 1,500 or so yeah. at the stadium. Made um, made 35 appearances for Loughborough's NFL team this season and spent his younger days playing at Cheltenham Town. Cheltenham Town, coming to Loughborough. League 2 Cheltenham. Good knowledge. And it spent a lot of years in the lower leagues. Mate. <laughs> Being a Sheffield Wednesday fan, yeah, I can see that. Uh, it's, not a pretty, it's not a pretty job, someone's got to do it. Chance in the playoffs though? Yes. And a good, a good chance of that. We've been there, we've done it, and we have, we did lose last time. Did, but <laughs> did you get to Wembley? Did get to got Wembley. to Wembley, lost to Hull City. So, rumours had it you cut your holiday short by. A I day. did, yeah. I, I came home. You can't miss a game like that. No, Wembley's very rare. Although, you could be repeating it again this year. So, jokes on me. Anyway, substitution will be made. It will be Dinsmore who comes on. And he'll slot over. Has he come on for leg? I think he has leg. He was wearing this captain's armband. So just see who's. I've got down here that Dinsmore is more of a, a utility player. So we'll see where he slots him. A utility player. Nobody likes that title, do they? Uh, so it's knocked long. Header won well by Glenn. And Brennan comes out of defence. It's picked up by Simmons. Can he roll it in to Kane? Great first touch. Left footed on the six yard box. And it looked, it was rising and rising, and it just rose a little bit too uh, bit too early, didn't it? If Same. it had risen a little bit later, it would have slammed into the roof Same. of the net. Brennan gambling a little bit there, didn't quite win the header well enough. And that allowed Liverpool spacing behind him. It's one of those where he slammed it goalwards and he was aiming for the roof of the net. If he doesn't find the roof of the net, it's then yeah. it goes <laughs> over. So. One of those. That's exactly what it did. O'Keefe, I think just uh, getting the armband from goalkeeper O'Keefe, just going to take the ball to the right-hand side of his six-yard box. We're almost 12 minutes away from the 90. Loughborough, two goals to the good against Premier League Liverpool under 18s. As that's knocked high, long. Lewis is underneath it, and then in goes Longstaff. He in the header, second ball. So now Bridge adopting that left-back position. So Dinsmore in the left mid position. So like you say, yeah. Utility. Utility man. <laughs> As Lewis, can he pick out that ball again? This time looking for Simmons in behind it and roll through to O'Keefe. So Bridge himself has spent a lot of lot of games playing at centre uh, fullback, so he'll be very familiar with that position. He's played forward down the right hand side. Crooks into Dapper. Who's, he likes to come short and get the ball. Not seen a lot of it. I think he's almost playing behind Ward Cochrane, isn't he? Yeah, that's uh, that's the position he plays for Solihull Moors, I believe. The Trotman, who, who has had a fantastic game, throws it down the line. We'll ask you for your man of the match later in the game, Matt, so I'll just be wary there. of I'll that. Get thinking. You get thinking. It's that Williams. song is just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Longstaff comes inside and then checks back onto his left foot, rolls it back to Sharif. Liverpool, can they make something happen? Can they make a game of it? We want to see a bit of excitement in the last few minutes, don't we? So we do Liverpool, Liverpool go now, definitely put uh, Loughborough on hooks for the last 10 minutes. Langford just split there by Simmons, but does really well to win the ball back and then play it inside. Can you maybe tell me why Langford's wearing a different kit? Is that? that is one for the kit, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's rolled to it Trotman, who's done, done his job tonight. He's having a good wrestle with Adekinia, it's taken quickly to Kane, inside the area he goes, and then stabs at Goldwoods. Good save by O'Keefe. I have to say, that was six of one and half a dozen of the other in the far corner. Harsh to give a free kick to Liverpool. They got the game away really quickly. And then it's a free kick and a good chance wasted. You say that, Loughborough didn't react well enough there at all. One ball cut them open then. Ward Cochrane looking to split the defence. 
a fine crook to via a slip from Venon now. Can he pick up the seconds? He does. He's got Dapo for company down the ring. Feeding Crooks is the shout of Lewis, well read. Ben dwelling on the ball a bit too long there. Crooks hit acres of space if you'd have found him earlier. Played into the feet of Kane, who had that glorious chance earlier. Simmons got the overrun from Adekanye, picked up by Kane. We'll just come back inside to Lewis. One more and Sharif now. I'm sure the outlet is, and it will be Longstaff. He's got plenty of time to run into but he's got men for company as well stanted up on his left foot in towards Simmons Brennan can't quite win the header it'll fall to Adekanye right footed shot and again would probably sum up the end product yeah, of Liverpool this evening <laughs> running out of ideas I think there he's just a bit ambitious very ambitious actually on his weak and right foot players in the way would have been a spectacular goal would have been nice to squeeze it in from there three subs for Liverpool one for Loughborough to come we'll try and work these out coming on is let's have a look we've got number 16 He's not on our list, so we'll try and work that one out. LSU, uh, LSU TV letting us down there. Number 19 is Marky Blair. Number 17 is... Tom Clayton. Have you got a 16? We have got a 16, unfortunately. Yeah, be difficult. We call him 16. Um, so it's another change in formation. This looks like a 3-2-3-2. Three, two, three, two. Two. <laughs> As it's knocked forward and flicked on really well. That's cleared away by Blair, the substitute, just coming onto the pitch. And Johnston plays it forward, finds Kane in that number 10 pocket, rolls it through to Simmons. Has he overhit it? No, he keeps it in right to the byline. He's got Brennan for company, rolls it across goal into the substitute and then rolls it back to Kane. One more. And he just can't quite find his teammate as it's rolled forward, kept up by Ward Cochrane. Taken by the Loughborough substitute, Dapo can't quite take that one down. And that was with Johnson, one more, and Lewis. Kane rolls it in towards goal. And Long, really good defending by Trotter. So that Loughborough substitute, Chris. I, I don't want to have that. Enaremadu. I'll take that. Enaremadu. <laughs> Who's he come on for, Tom? I, uh, I believe he came on forward. Oh no, he didn't. Come on. Looks like Matt Crooks. Crooks, I yeah, think. Matt Crooks. Goal scorer Matt Crooks makes way. True, just trying to get to grips with those uh, Liverpool substitutions. Like I say, we've not got all the numbers, but Tom Clayton was number 17. Uh, Marky Blair was number 19. 16 and 17 were missing. We will try and roll with it. Anyway, Brennan, who uh, took the skipper's arm from, from leg, hands that to Trotman. Will he keep it? George Carpenter coming on for Danny Brennan. I believe Trotman will go and uh, take up the centre back position, and Carpenter will come on the right hand side of the back four. Carpenter is actually at Shrewsbury Town as a junior. He's gone into the right back position, Trotman at centre back. We nearly hit the 83 minute mark, so there's plenty of players just getting a run out now, just a chance uh, for them to stretch their legs and be a part of this great occasion, Matt. Yeah, of course. Chris, the uh, guy's just gone, he's also got uh, an odd kick. A few of them. Try and work out why that is. As it's taken first down by Langford over to the left hand side. That's a lovely first touch. Can't quite bring in the full back. No more. That's Jackson trying to roll in Ward. Cochrane Williams plays it forward looking for his teammate. And now it's with Sharif. Time on the ball to come inside to Lewis. And the Loughborough substitute has read that really well. I think Liverpool will start pressing soon. 2 0 no down. Langford plays it over to the right, and Carpenter, who's got Adekanye for company. One more, and Dapo plays it forward into the feet of number 19 for Loughborough. He's just come on, Matt. Can you, oh, Chris and. I'm calling and then I'm calling Chris. We'll go, Chris. <laughs> Kane, he's got Simmons left him. He's chopped down by Langford. He'll carry on going. Still got Simmons to left if he can use him. He does. Right footed effort towards goal. Bends it looking towards the far corner, but the wind is such that it blew it into the near corner. And no key for throw, his cap Good on Good effort, it. as it happens, he would have been offside had the ball gone in. It's a lovely turn from Ward Cochrane. Now Dapo's made his run, it's well read by Johnston. It's good defending there. can see the certainly why he's been a part of the Scotland international setup. I've been impressed with him, actually. He's cut out a lot, read the game yeah, really well. You've just said it. Let's take the words out of my mouth, read the game very well there. Stopped a very dangerous attack from Loughborough. We talk about great defending, it's Bridge. He slipped, slipped into that. That left back position. I know you said he's no relative of Wayne, but <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't deal in consequences <laughs> like that. <laughs> Showing glimpses of the man, of the man there. I'm sure he's his own player. Maybe he's going to be on I'm a Celebrity. That's literally going to so. say he's, <laughs> he's got a stint in the jungle to look forward to. <laughs> it will be Johnston 
and Sharif then comes forward. He's got yeah. left for shirt for company. Dapo. Cheap foul there. Back. Five minutes to go. They're just sort of running the clock down. I think Loughborough just preparing another. It makes you wonder where these players come from. I mean, the Liverpool squad doing a little bit of research before. It is massive. There are well over 30 players in it. As Adekanye does really well to get skip past one and then into the area. Rolls it across goal. Great ball. It might be picked up on the far right hand side. And then it's turned left footed back in. Longford away will fall to Kane. Good first touch, poor yeah. left footed effort. Again, it's that long range effort for Liverpool. Liverpool doing really well to shut down any real clear cut chances. Res having to resort for the long range efforts. So it will be another substitution for Loughborough. It's number 16 that's going to be coming on. It'll be Jackson coming off. Jackson comes off to a good ovation from the Loughborough fans. He's put in a really good shift alongside Brennan at centre-back. Full credit. Fully worth that round of applause. Chance of 2-0 Loughborough in our end. It's getting well involved in the game. Yeah, and they're not wrong. We'll just try and work out who that one is for you. So a lot of substitutions for Liverpool making it Liverpool and Loughborough just trying to keep up with them as it's with Ward Cochrane now on halfway appeals by both sets of benches it's been given to the Liverpool boys yeah, just talking about the size of the squads and it's a lovely turn from Kane and foul who really are a huge the attackers alone I think Liverpool had about eight options one of which was Ben Woodburn if he'd have turned up today I'd have been very surprised obviously he's tipped to go on to great things and he's been touted as the next sort of Gareth Bale in that Wales setup. He's made a That's number. A big call. He's been involved in the first team this season and I believe scored for them as well. So it would have been um, would have been good to see someone like him turn up, but I think this level is probably just a little bit beneath him, if you like, as it's with Lewis who's dictated the play, tempo of the game really well this second half. But another right foot, left foot, sort of skimmy there, like you said, Matt. We don't see it that often. Yeah, no, Liverpool, sorry, Liverpool again trying to go direct. Maybe, again, a sign of them running out of ideas here in the last five, final five minutes. Yeah, O'Keefe will run down the clock as well and then just pop the ball on the floor. <laughs> Going to take a stab. I believe the player that's come up for Loughborough there is Harry Cullum. Harry Cullum. Thank you, Matt. Says it's picked up well by Langford in midfield. Done well since coming on. Couple of good challenges. Strong, strong in the challenge. Yeah, he's a very sure. composed player, Jack Langford, for sure. Sharif just trying to turn away. He can't quite do so. Langford will pick up. And Ward Cochrane takes a touch. Back to goal on halfway and tries to roll it into Langford. Langford. And now it's with Lewis inside his own half. Bursts into the centre circle. Turns away from Gord Cochrane. Then just checks back right. Really, can they try and make something happen here, Liverpool? They've got two minutes to try and make something out of this game. Otherwise, it will be Loughborough taking all the spoils. Still 2-0, that goal from... Trotman and Crooks, the difference between the two teams. It's with Kane, who's looked lively since coming on. Rolls it into Adekanye down by that left-hand side. Back to Kane. One more inside, and Lewis looking for Simmons on the edge of the area. Looks to get away from one. He can't. And then it's just knocked back to O'Keefe, who plays it forward, looking for Dapo. Great first touch. Takes it out the sky there, Adekanye. Can he get to the byline? He's up against Chris and, and Edmu, who's given away a foul. Good effort there, Tom. <laughs> it's taken quickly by Lewis, who just has a think about having a go at goal. It takes a deflection, rolls into the arms of O'Keefe. He'll throw his proverbial cap on that one, <laughs> won't he, Matt? A usual move for there. I thought they'd swing that into the area, given that they're two down with two to go. Yeah, put a bit Pops of pressure. In. And yeah. they you know, haven't really done it that much today, have they? And they've got Kane, Adekanye, Simmons, and the other lad who we're not quite sure who he is as... as Come on, they've added real height to that defence with Sharif now. Can he look for that telling ball over the top? He tries to find Simmons in behind Trotman. Yeah, it will just come off for the back of his feet and then it's clipped away down the right-hand side. Lewis is quick to it, though, and he'll keep the attack going for Liverpool, put out of play. Oh, no, not just defending now, but just get past the line. Certainly, like you say, Matt, just try and get past that line. A minute to go, they'll be really happy with their evening's work as Lewis rolls it across to Sharif. They're not going to hurt you in this position. I'm sure will be the thought. Two banks of four set up by Loughborough. Knocked into the area. It's really aimless from Sharif. It might fall for Lewis. He heads it over to the left and Adikanye. Good first touch. Takes it under his spell. Now, can he get to the byline? Tries to beat him with a trick or two. Can't quite do so. So George standing up really well there to that 
not Car selling himself. Yeah, Carpenter's done really well. Adikani has got the ball into the box. They can't quite get anything away. Though appeals for a penalty. Soft ones waved away. And now can Loughborough break with Ward Cochrane down the right-hand side. We've had 90 minutes. How much additional time will the referee choose to play? As Lash just keeps his foot on the ball. And then Trotman goes back to O'Keefe. We haven't had too many stops for injuries. Brave goalkeeping. More... <laughs> More for substitutions made in which I've absolutely lost count. I'd say probably over 15 subs. Throw in to Loughborough down the right hand side. As the match winds to an end, Mac, man of the match, please. Give me a minute. I'll, uh, I, gave, I gave you two. Yeah, two hours time, I forgot to do it. Just give it's me a good minute. Feet by Dapper down the right, he'll do well to win a free kick, but he won't. It'll be a throw in to Liverpool. It's a take the Kane, take their time. Kane yeah. wants it. I've Are we ready? Say, yeah, I am ready with my man of match. Yeah. For his spectacular first half goal and a very, very busy, busy game, I've got to give it to Luke Trotman. Agreed. I'm glad you went for that because I completely agree. I think he's had a great game attacking-wise. He's done brilliantly getting forward, but also defensively. He's covered really well. He's arguably been up against Liverpool's two better players up against... Adekanye and in the first half Miller he was electric so a great job done by him and well deserved and a well deserved goal I'm sure that will live long in the memory as Loughborough can they add a third and put the cherry on top of the icing on top of the cake Ward Cochrane just holding his run I think he's pulled his maybe he's pulled his hamstring there he's put a heck of a shift in but he's gone down one more over to the ref the right and Carpenter the ref happy to just carry on with the game is it cramp he's gone down with? I think it's cramped. I think it is cramped because it's in this calf and it's a great ball down the right-hand side. Carpenter, he's got not many aim to aim for. It's blocked off by Johnston on his left foot in the deep left-back position. will clear it long, looking high up the field. It's Langford, plays it over to the right. And Loughborough come forward down the right this time. Last thinks about making a run. And then Demu goes into the area. One more and Dapo strikes it left-footed and Williams diving down to his right-hand side. Has done really well to keep both hands on that. It's yeah, positive from Loughborough there. I tell you what, the game's really got stretch here, Matt, but that's a poor ball towards Adekanye. We weren't shown how many uh, added minutes No, I don't were, think we have so a fourth we official. So, uh, <laughs> that'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as the referee just, just telling Loughborough to hurry up. Just saying positive play from Loughborough there, despite the fact they're 2 0 up with not that much time left. They're still looking for more goals. We played two minutes of injury time that we. Weren't aware Believe, we, yeah. <laughs> we weren't aware we had, but that's where we are. We've had a man of the match in Trotman from Matt, which I think the whole stadium would find hard to defy. As uh, Liverpool, Loughborough just a little bit sloppy there, and a chance for Liverpool to break. Kane, who's looked really sprightly since coming on, Kane chooses to go right. It's a good chance for the substitute on his left foot to try and pull one back for Liverpool. That's great. a great save, a save. by O'Keefe. He's done really well because he was wrong-footed. You think the player's going to bend it to the far corner, checked it onto low down to his left. He's done really well. He right. has, there, as you just said, Tom, done fantastic. Well, he'd been really disappointed if he did concede it tonight. He's deserved a clean sheet, as have the whole back four. And he will keep his clean sheet. And Loughborough will keep a clean sheet. And they'll beat Liverpool by two goals to nil. A fantastic Fantastic scoreline, a fantastic performance and one they can be really proud with. Goals from Trotman and Crooks, the difference between the two teams, but a really good defensive display from Loughborough made them very hard to break down. It's not the be-all and end-all for both teams, but a really nice match and a great chance for them to play in front of 1,500 or so people at the stadium and they put on quite a spectacle, Matt. Yeah, you just said, Tom, both, both too well, especially Loughborough will take confidence, especially the boys leaving the uni. This might be their last match for Loughborough, so hopefully they can take confidence from this and go and kick on in their careers like you say a lot of the players will they might be in their final year and it's a really great way for them to bow out a lovely a lovely opportunity for them and maybe they'll go on to bigger and better things we talked about George Williams earlier picking up Milton Keynes Don's player of the season maybe we'll be looking at a few of these players in a few seasons time that are in the football league themselves certainly Trotman and the goal from Crooks wouldn't have looked amiss in that league. Premier, Premier League <laughs> Well, I think we're ready to head down to Ed, who is pitch side. So we will head over to Ed, and he's with Tom, and he's going to talk you through the rest of it. Thank you very much, Tom. Well done there. Cracking game, cracking game, cracking commentary as well. What a fantastic 90 minutes there, and a great win for Loughborough. Great to see us taking on Liverpool boys and winning, of course. I'm not biased by any means. Um, we're going to have a chat with our, our man in the know. Tom, what do you make of that second half? 
Um, that was a much better second half, I think, than the first half. Um, if you, I don't know if any of you noticed, but uh, Liverpool actually changed their formation and played a 3-5-2. Um, um, and I think uh, Loughborough did really well to cope with it. Um, and like um, I called at halftime, uh, they did hit them on the break. Um, it was a really good um, uh, build-up play from Dapo playing to Ben Ward Cochran and then a good a cheeky fit by uh, Matt Crooks. It was cheeky, wasn't it? I mean, we spoke earlier in the first half about that goal. That was just a cheeky goal, wasn't it? It was just cheeky. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, it's kind of it's good for the fans as well. Kind of, I, I'm sure that uh, like the replays would be happy about that. And um, yeah, no, I think it um, just kind of goes to show that um, uh, Lafra did, uh, did well. They're patient, and sometimes you get like a lucky flick, and that's what makes a difference. So. Um Kind of near the end of the season for Loughborough there, mm -hmm. rounding it off nicely with a win there. So moving forward to next year, obviously we have players coming in and out, in and out. This will be story to tell, hopefully. Absolutely, especially with regards to recruitment for um, potential students who want to come and study here. They always um, want to know what opportunities they have. So if um, you have something uh, to say that they want to know about the standard, and if you can say that we've um, beaten uh, Liverpool's academy, then that's uh, good for bragging rights and for recruitment for new students. Absolutely, and so. Liverpool, I think, I believe that's their third or fourth loss on the trot. So um, moving forward, they've got some work to do, and it's going to be I think it's going to be a tricky one for Stevie G to step in on. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm I'm actually completely clued up with um, their um, form uh, regards to the league, as this was a friendly as well. But um, yeah, absolutely. I think I'm sure Stephen Jarrod uh, will have some work to do. Um, was, there were rumours that he'd be here today. Um, unfortunately, uh, he didn't show up. But um, I'm sure if he has a look at this footage, you can kind of see what there is to work on. But I think the Loughborough boys did a really good job. I'm sure he'll have been watching today. I'm sure he'll be. Was there any standout performances from Liverpool players despite their loss? Um, yeah, I think uh, the player that stood out for me the most was their number eight, who's um, uh, really kind of uh, slick. Uh, he was really slick, quite um, uh, well-footed. And um, he was taken off about um, 60 minutes in, but for me, he was their standout player. Okay, so we've obviously had an amazing 90 minutes there, and uh, I mean, there's there's some big stars up in the stadium. Hopefully, when we can, you see the boys behind me there, just um, having a bit of a debrief. We're hopefully going to be able to chat to, to some of them later if they're nice to us. But you know, fake news and all that. We'll see if they <laughs> want to talk to us. But uh, thank you very much. We're going to try and chat to the commentators there. They've come down to join us. Come here, commentators. After that fantastic 90 much. minutes. Bye, Tom. Just thank get you very much. Back, I think. Yeah. It's good that, wasn't it? I think we need a cool down like that after that. <laughs> Maybe a warm-up. It was intense, wasn't it? It was a very good game of football. I thought um, Loughborough really represented themselves well. They've got the 2-0 win, but above that, I think they put on a good show. Yeah. They did really well, defended right. well against a good team that had a lot of possession as well. Yeah, we thought the win would be a big factor, but they seemed to play the same as they did in the first half, which is very encouraging to see. And what a goal from Crooksy as well. But me and Tom were just talking yeah. about it there, a bit cheeky. Very cheeky. So we're saying the contrast very Vardy-esque. That's right oh, yes. against Jamie, Jamie Vardy. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we came down at halftime and we said, you know, if, if uh, Trotsman scores a goal in a Liverpool shirt, we're talking about as if this guy's going to be the next great right back. Well, you we do the same for the yeah. second goal, wouldn't you? He's going to be the next uh, Jamie Vardy. <laughs> Who knows? We, men we mentioned it in the pre-show. You know, we had Man United here a few years ago. Yes. We saw Rashford, 16-year-old. We never, we never knew what he would do. Yeah. But is there anyone you saw tonight who you thought maybe? I was quite impressed with Miller in the first half, so I know you were as well, yeah. and uh, Adekanye in the second yeah, half. Yeah, and I thought Lewis as well, uh, Adam Lewis had a really good game. Kane looked bright when he came on as well. So a couple of, uh, there's four or five really good, obviously they've done really well, they're Liverpool and they're 18 footballers, and they were 16, 17, 18 years old, so they've, they've had a good performance. I think Lewis in particular, he ran a game that was probably yeah. above his years there, so yeah, I, I think he could Clearly. be a really good player. And Luke is man of the match, just because of that yeah. goal? No, I just the guy. No. He, he burst forward a few times as well. Not as, as a right back, obviously very limited to just defending, but he managed to get forward a few times as well, which is very. I think it's he good for a right back to see. I that. think he had a tough job. He was up against Miller and Adekanye, who've both been arguably yeah. two of two players we've just pointed yeah, out there and I defended say, yeah. really well, attacked well, and got a goal. So I don't think you can ask for much more, can you? No, absolutely. Well, yeah. thanks, guys. We're going to come back to you for your final words in a minute. I think we're going to have a chat over here to one of the fantastic yeah. Lucky players. All right, well done. Two 0 Congratulations. How are you feeling about that? I'm tired now. Yeah, they popped it around, didn't they? But now it's good. Um, I think the boys played well, really. Like Alex, like drilled in our game plan and we executed it, so it was good. Wasn't too, wasn't too much of an intimidating team there. Uh, I think the first ten minutes when they were popping it around, we were just like, we just got our breath back and then got the ball down. And once we got the ball down and started playing it, it was good. Like we relaxed on the ball, and I think it showed really. Yeah. So you can tell us now, but what was the game plan? Um, basically, we. We tried to press them, and then when they got into our half, we showed them wide. So, because their wingers are really good, you see, you see, it makes me. <laughs> yeah, but now nah, their wingers are really good. So we showed them wide, and then once they're wide, like they don't have anywhere to go, and then we will get the ball back, and then we we'll, we just try to play our own game really. So yeah, it was good. Well, it worked. Congratulations. Where'd you go for now? At the nearly end of the season. Yeah. 
where do we go from? What's coming up? Is there anything else left in the Loughborough calendar? Last game, I think. So, other than that, yeah. Good last game. Yeah, I know. I know we left it to the end, really, because we struggled in the MFL, but this was what we tried to do all season. But it's difficult playing against men versus playing against them. So, yeah, it was good, though. Do you think, did it feel different playing against under 18s? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think just the mentality of a big game, like, just everyone was up for it, and it was good. So. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Great win. And uh, best of luck to whatever you go on to. No, keep it up. So, um, thanks very much to Luffer Boys. Fantastic game. Really, really happy with that. Great win. 2-0. And uh, all the best bits are about to come up. So, take a look at this. goals some goals right some 2-0 I know what am I saying it's football obviously <laughs> goals but it was really really good to see uh, some fantastic goals there and the Luffer boys put on a show for us uh, as we mentioned earlier final words from you Tom we'll start with you this, uh, Tom, this Tom here great evening I think the stadium's seen some really good evenings I think the couple of varsities the Manchester United game um, and I certainly think this one will go down uh, and live long in the memory good great appearance great turnout and a good win historic <laughs> 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 Matt saying what a two goals to win it with as well first one from Trotman that excellent volley into the top corner and Crooksy with a little Cruyff, Cruyff flick into the bottom bottom corner not going to get much better than that really yeah Jimmy Vardy flick we'll call it now <laughs> <laughs> yeah and Tom your view um, I think it was a really good game. It was quite um, quite tight between the two, and then I think um, Loughborough definitely deserved to come out on top. Um, that game plan uh, was clearly um, quite uh, well thought through, and yeah, I think all all around it was a pretty good game. Well, thanks so much, guys. It's been fantastic to have you with us throughout the uh, throughout the ninety minutes. You guys did fantastic commentating, Thank and you Tom, much. your knowledge has been you know, <laughs> unbelievable. We wouldn't we wouldn't do, have do done sure. without <laughs> you. Do Thank you very much. Such a of knowledge. <laughs> well, that's all from us here. That's been a match report special from the stadium. My name's Ed Radford. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you so much to everyone in the gallery for making this happen. It's been fantastic. And that's all from us here. So thank you very much and good night. <laughs>